All right, welcome to The Bracket, episode 90. Today, we're doing a bracket of the historical events that we would want to witness live. And in this case, just to give us a little qualifier, I guess, it's like you're a fly in the wall. You're not sitting there, standing there. I was, while I was thinking happen. about that. Yeah. So it's like you're a ghost. Yeah, you're a ghost. You're, you're just, unaffected by it. You're unaffected by any of the event that you're describing here. You're not in danger. You're not participating. Yeah, that exactly. changes a few of mine, my recommendations, which probably didn't yeah. get through. I do. Yeah, I do. So we don't have Nick or KB or Che today. Che is moving. Nick and KB are at Stu Finer's house. Yeah. Think, yeah. Right. Yeah. So we do have fights. We have Clemmer and we have the, the dynamic duo of Marty and Dana who already had a hilarious <laughs> off screen moment. Like I'm going to tell you right now, Kendrick, I'm feeling uh, today. I'm feeling like I really want to make fun of myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to make a fool of myself today. <laughs> I just I'm in, I'm loopy right now. It feels like it's gonna be hard given hard. the topic. Oh, no, yeah. but you know, but if, well, we'll, we'll find, find a way. Say, as far we'll as historical events go, you got three people I'll say in here. Probably shouldn't be in here. Yeah, <laughs> like I, I I don't know if I'd choose me, Dana, and Marty to do historical events. Together. Well, that's where we I I my first thing I said to to Ken Jack was the Salem witch trials. Yeah. Oh, good one. I said, that is that's a good one. Oh, oh, good. Why do you want to one? innocent Wait, women I, burned to death? I didn't yeah. know exactly the whole part of what it was. What about. did you think it was? They I made fun of my old friend. Oh, like, yeah. yeah, relax. I would yeah. make fun of my friend Turton all the time because he so, looked so old like he was part of the Salem witch trials. That's why I was like, oh, he's an ugly man. I guess there is, there. I, I uh, my gut went good one. I guess thinking back on it now, maybe not the best one, but <laughs> Yeah, no, it's a bad one. It's I didn't, horrible. I didn't feel great. Salem witch trials? I, I could, I could argue positively yeah, yeah, for be, that. I, I don't think it has to be. You know, you could be horrific. I, I put Hindenburg down as an option. Yeah, like just from a pyrotechnical standpoint, a, spe I, uh, a spectacle. You don't know what Hindenburg is? Come on, dude. It's, it's, it's the blimp. blimp bro. Do you know what the Hindenburg was? It's only 20, 20 blimps. It's the blimp. That's true. Oh no, no, but this is that is the, true. It's back in the thirties, right? Yes. Yeah. Do you know what the Hindenburg was? Horrific. The blimps. It was, yeah. it was kind of. It was, a it was, it was just one blimp, actually. Singular. <laughs> <laughs> one blimp. No, two. Two blimps. It wasn't the Hindenburg. It did become many blimps. <laughs> was it two that collided? Honestly, it was no, it two no, that no. collided. I don't know. No, it was, oh, is that just in New Jersey? Right? Yeah, it was because they had hydrogen uh, and exploded. They, they instead of helium mm -hmm. or whatever it is. But. That's how your grandpa died, right? No, hydrogen over helium. What happened? What? No, I, my, one of my grandfathers like died. That. No, they his not. grandfather. My died. grandfather is both dead. One, his one died, died of the, uh, of the Civil, Civil War. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one died in 2004. The other died in 1970. He was very young when he died. Okay, <laughs> fighting with the 20th Maine. <laughs> <laughs> how many old jokes are we gonna tell today? How, how many? It's almost. You said easy. you were. I think so too. 21 over at 9/11. I just. That's, That's true. You, that is a fact. No, that is so mind bending. Nothing's to me. better than, than when the Berlin Wall happened, and it was like they had to put it in the history books for you. Yo, so that's not yeah, a joke. Yeah, yeah. So the Berlin Wall came down in '89. I was in school, and all the maps were wrong because now Lithuania is a country, and all these uh, like they, but they weren't in. So all the maps for like my entire junior high were always wrong. Yeah. Pangaea hadn't unformed yet. <laughs> <laughs> Fix the continents. Uh, let's do our first matchup of the day: the five versus the twelve. The five seed is uh, the. I, mean, I lumped these two together because some people had one or the other, or some had both. Uh, the Kennedy and Kennedy and Lincoln assassinations. I'm just going to combine them into one. I don't know why people would specifically make unless it was Kennedy and you wanted to see conspiracy theory shit or whatever. Everyone had it, so it's on the list. And that's going up against the number 12 seed, which is any UFO sighting that has ever been claimed. Uh, I choose to believe that this would be like a verified one or the, maybe the most believable. Roswell? Roswell, I guess, would be the best one, right? Uh, so we'll start with you, Mush. I don't like both. <laughs> I'm not like interested in murder much. I don't really care for it. You know, I don't think many do. <laughs> it's fair. Old, yeah. old but brave. <laughs> and oh, by, just to mind you, you did start with the Salem witch trials. I didn't know many of those girls died. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think thing, happened? Dude. I thought they got off scot free. That was the point. It was a lot of trials. <laughs> most, most, most were found innocent. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of odd. You thought I they were time trials. They were racing. Yeah, the they were racing. Their <laughs> murders. I I wouldn't like those murders. I'm a, I'm more interested in like the hangings. Those ones, I'd be like, oh, what? 
Those ones would be kind of wild to see. You want to see someone get ha- like hung? I want to see it, but his head all... exploded. Yeah, that's, ooh, the hang. Like, how does it ha- how did it go? Were people cheering? Was it like, oh, let's go, boys? Like, I don't know. It'd be kind of fun. I, to get, see. I get where you're coming from. Yeah, I, I, I get. in the public square used to be cinematic. It, mm-hmm. That was yeah, what the whole town turned out for. They didn't have movies. Right. Mm-hmm. Go yeah. and watch someone get their head chopped off. Um, I'll go with the UFOs, though. I would like to be at the playground in Zimbabwe with Za when he <laughs> saw the UFO. Like, That's that would have been so fun to see. Can you explain that story for those who haven't heard? He just, he if you look it up, it was a high uh, a elementary school in Zimbabwe where Za was in doing, like, recess. And they saw a UFO, and they asked all the kids to draw it after. So all of Za's drawings of the UFO is online now. But, yeah, I would love to be there. For a UFO setting. Okay, Dana? Uh, I think I put... I only did two options because I couldn't think of anything. I think Lincoln was on there. I don't know. That'd be pretty cool. Just see him get smoked in the head real quick. I think mm-hmm. that'd be quite an experience. I'll go with that. Did he have the hat on? <laughs> That's a good question. A, I don't know. If in most pictures, not. pictures, he does. I would guess he he's at a theater, off. though. Take it I would off. Guess he was in a box. Yeah. I would guess he would not be wearing the hat. Yeah. Interesting. Huh. Yeah. It makes uh, it less comical. It would have been yeah. tough to know if it was him. He, you could see he's like six seven. He was like one of the only tall people. He was in his own like private four, box. But at yeah. that time, that was very yeah. tall. Yeah. All right. So you you go with Lincoln? Yeah. I don't have much on this. I mean, I think I just I like I think it would be interesting to see him because it's it was a long time ago. Who knows if the history bi- books were right? You know, mm-hmm. it's fair. How about I, that? I agree with that. <laughs> why are you looking at me, dude? Why? Um. Why are you combining the Lincoln and the Kennedy assassination? They're the two big assassinations everyone had. And I felt it was better to just combine them into one option versus having to burn two spots for them. I see. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, when I think about what it would mean to be a fly on the wall for those, I'm not so much thinking about watching the their the bullet go into their heads as I am the national response and the shock and the awe of that, um, to me, that's the more kind of profound thing to witness. And conversely, I think that actually witnessing a UFO thing would be just mind exploding. Mm-hmm. So I'd rather see that, uh, a, a real UFO situation. So uh, I'll go UFO. Twitter, UFO? Twitter would have been unreal for Abe going down. Oh, for Abe. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, or JFK. Imagine that. Yeah, I have a lot of memes. JFK probably was even was more. Was Abe so bad? Was he, do, was he a bad yeah. person? No, he's, he's the greatest Abe person that we've players. ever had. Uh, he likes the number one <laughs> of Abe all time. Was a bad president. That was no, no, that was, was he's I, pro best slavery president Dana. in the history <laughs> of the he's talking country. About he's talking about Lincoln or Kennedy? Lincoln. 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 I knew okay, he was a solid guy, but I don't know. Sometimes I'd get. not a slave. What would he have had to do? Outside of freeing the slave <laughs> to make his legacy That's that of a battle. One you can't have I know he freed those saying. slaves. Oh, Save the country. I wasn't sure if he did something he bad to cancel them out. I don't know. That's what I'm asking. What what would it have to do? <laughs> yeah. Reinstate slavery yeah. would really be the That's only, the only thing. thing. <laughs> Even if he murdered 25 people, the good outweighs that. Yeah. He'd have to be Hitler. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Like to outweigh that. I was a, it was a question. It, it was a simple Lincoln. question. Good guy? <laughs> a simple question. I, I it was mean, a simple question. Yes, I agree with that. <laughs> that was worse than anything I've ever seen. <laughs> I knew he got abolished slob. Sl- <laughs> 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 I abolished slobbery. I don't think he did a good job. You were looking at it. Here, yeah. <laughs> I'm in Tim. How are we going to make fun of Dana today? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whatever. <laughs> I can't believe that he's my colleague. <laughs> for the record, for the I re- knew he abolished like that's a defense. That makes the argument no, worse. Yeah. I'm sure, for the record, <laughs> I knew. I just don't think that's enough. <laughs> I wasn't sure if there was something to cancel it out. That's all I'm saying. I mean, <laughs> He keeps going back to the same point. That doesn't help him. Did he have any like gay tweets or something? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tommy, here's the worst point. He could be a literal serial killer and no one would care. Yeah. It'd be like, oh, that's fine. He still did more good than bad. Yeah, it wouldn't have mattered. Uh, Tommy. Um, I think so. The, the Lincoln JFK one was one of the first ones that came to my mind. I just think whatever, it's a big thing. But really, I don't know if I really care to see that. I think like the UFO one to me is any... Not, you know, some fucking any loony bit. It's like, oh, I saw UFO. Like, one of the more, you know, acclaimed ones. The, the Zimbabwe one or ones that have been in, like, a documentary. 
I just want to be there. And then that way I could just know, like, all right, this guy's just a fucking idiot. It's a star or something. Mm-hmm. Or, oh, no, they're like, if you just see one, if I just saw one UFO sighting, I'd be like, oh, aliens are real. Like, if I if there was just one confirmed, I'm not talking about the fucking, I know, the grainy footage, the Navy SEALs, whatever saw. I mean, like, a legitimate, like, UFO sighting. I'd be like, oh, aliens are real. There's no doubt about it. So to, to be there and have that confirmation, I'll choose that. Aliens? Yeah, I don't want to see people get shot. Like it would, you know, even seeing the Zapruder films of like JFK, it's like watching it, it's very upsetting. Like you see his head get blown off. At the and Darren Ravel, yeah. The Lincoln it was <laughs> so crazy, right? Like it was behind, it was behind him, and he's you see, you know, his head was, Boom. Exp- yep. you know, that's his wife's right there screaming. That would be very horrible to w- witness. I did not put either of the assassinations on my list. I'm, it's upsetting. <laughs> aliens? Are they real? That's cool to find out. I would love to have aliens be real. I think, but then I'd be scared of them. But either way, it'd be cool to know. What's going on, dude? <laughs> would they be real? You were like a narrator that would they be real? I think <laughs> you don't that's think that's about that's delivery. That's a good what delivery. What's going on? You don't think about that, aliens? I just know they're real. Yeah. Mm. That's, that's all you Not figure that. every star is a solar system. I've told you, they're in Antarctica. Don't get me. How do we know that? How do we know that? They're not in the stars. How do we know what? How do we Every even know? Star is a how do we know? Space? We don't know shit. We've never been in a star. We don't know that. We just. I think it could be in a star. You can't. Oh, the star is the sun. Space. They are in Antarctica. I know it. Oh, the aliens. Okay. Yeah. Like Alien vs. Predator, the movie. I have a what question. From. That <laughs> was the good movie. I have a question. I thought I that was a surprisingly it. good movie. I feel it's on like, FX like five thousand times. Hey, I feel like it wouldn't be that hard to assassinate the president. <laughs> <laughs> the best. The fucking no. also not a question. <laughs> like I, I had a question. Like, what, literally, you're gonna get a knock on your door the yeah. day this publishes. I mean, anyone can just fucking <laughs> I'm push just over Sleepy Joe. Dude, how often is Trump on hey, Gillis, playing you can't, golf? You can't lose thirty pounds. How do you think <laughs> you would? I'm not saying me. The president. I'm not saying me. <laughs> what else you saying? No. How often did Trump play golf or Obama play golf and you just have a sniper on a fucking roof? No, no. You, they they shut the whole golf down. course down and the woods around are filled with secret service. And the snipers are like working for the president. And how many golf courses do you go to that have skyscrapers by the way? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, where are you taking this shot from? I'm just, that's an example of when he's they're doing stuff on their free time. It seems like they're wide open, you know? You know? Well, it, it appears say, that way. You'd be what? wrong. I think They're the not open. The pictures of Sleepy Joe on the beach in Delaware. He, yeah. he's so, <laughs> the, it's the great Shane Gillis bit is that you could just punch Joe Biden and kill him. Yeah, and like that'd be the easiest way. Like to when do Joe it. Biden fell off the bike, he's just biking. Like you're telling me someone in that crowd doesn't I have mean, some maybe, sort of weapon. I mean, there's also the the like, oh, I don't know if I want to kill the president. Probably holds people back. <laughs> I, I do. I like your argument. You're like, I'm not saying for me. I'm saying someone who's good at assassinating. Yeah, right, dude. <laughs> Surgery seems easy. I mean, not for me, a president did get shot in my it's lifetime. Not a good endorsement. Fair. I agree with. Yeah, that. I mean that Reagan. Reagan. Yeah, Reagan got shot in my lifetime. So I mean, it, it isn't Dana's point. It's not impossible. Well, it's it's probably it feels yeah. like it's it should be, you know. Or so uh, I, I get what you're saying. I'm surprised it doesn't happen more. They're in in the open space a lot. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I thought you were saying like I could go kill him right now, but when <laughs> no, no, no. That I would take umbridge with. No, no, no. I get what you're saying. There are a lot of times I'm like, hopefully we've got some dude advances from- society where we don't, you know, like you know, back if you look at the history books, like 1900s, presidents were getting shot all the time. Yeah, mm-hmm. luckily we more like William McKinley. Yeah, poor nobody dude. ever talks about his assassination. It's a Garfield too, right? Garfield, Garfield went down. McKinley. Yeah, it just seems like too much planning. Hey, Teddy Roosevelt a getting shot of- and just. Being like, I don't care. There was a big so attempt cool. on Truman's life that people don't talk about because it was unsuccessful, oh. but they tried. Really? Yeah, really? Yeah, because he really? was temporarily living uh, outside of the White House in a townhouse across the street because they were doing major renovations to the White House and a group of, I think it was, I think it was like Italian immigrant extremists uh, <laughs> tried to break into his house, shot the guards that Lies. were in the front protecting him. <laughs> And got in, like, almost got into the house, but then were gunned down, I think, and then ran uh, away. Okay. That's also so, it probably happens a lot, too, where there was attempts that we don't know. Yeah. They just keep it. I'm going to fact check myself on the Italian immigrants. On the Italians? I, would well, imagine, I, think, yeah. I think you used an extra word in that description. All Italian immigrants are extremists. Yeah. Also. Hey, easy. <laughs> uh, they, they, give, they get extreme about different things, but they're all extremists. <laughs> <laughs> I changed my answer to aliens. It's it really doesn't matter. It's a massive. You were the only one that voted. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. So all right. Doesn't oh, matter. I did too. Aliens. Excuse me. It was Puerto Rican pro independence activists. Uh, okay. Oh, aliens. Uh, fights. Um. Okay. Uh. First of all, 
Did my other Lincoln thing make it on here? I don't think so. Okay. Well, I would have chosen to watch Lincoln wrestle. I don't know if Oh, you did? That. Okay. Yeah. That, I did not include that. I didn't. He wrestle. Lincoln was a famous wrestler. Re- like, really? Over 300 matches. 300? Really? Like, Abe? <laughs> Abe. How long before? His I'd love to. But I put, not uh, watch Abe Lincoln get killed. I put, watch Abe Lincoln fucking wrestle. Oh, let's change that. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, would, that would be. You know his record? That would be. I don't know his record. I don't know how real it is. I've just been told Abe But he was, was tall and skinny. Wrestling. He boxed, he, too. He, he was tall and skinny. I've he's, seen the boxing. But he's, uh, <laughs> he was quite a wrestler is what I hear. Anyway, um, despite what the internet would have you believe i i spend exactly zero seconds a day curious about aliens i don't like i used to i i i accept it as fact i'm like yeah i'm sure there are aliens okay i don't need to see it i don't i'm like yeah sure i'm sure they exist there's anything between accepting aliens is like somewhere and like knowing they're here yeah i guess but like i also know south dakotans exist i've never met one i don't need to see one i'm like all right yeah they're out like there. that's a very false equivalent <laughs> that's I don't, I don't, I don't, false equivalent. not real to me yeah like, sure whatever i don't know it doesn't it doesn't affect me one or the other um but i would choose the assassinations and this is kind, francis kind of touched on it made me think about it the we get to witness everything else about it too it's not just i don't want i don't, I don't want to watch a guy get shot in the head but i can i can, can say can i stay for a day yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. okay. Because feeling patriotic is fucking dope. Oh yeah, yeah. and oh, yeah, like like that post nine eleven when we were all like America after we killed Bin Laden. Like, America! That shit's fucking fun, and I bet you feel like that pretty good after you killed. Yeah, him. so it's like the Brazilian wax. Like nine eleven was just the wax coming off, but then the after was it felt pretty good. Yeah, we were all connected. Everyone was like, well, "Let's go, red, white, blue." Um, I would have, I would like to get a like nice little like fucking. They fucked with America. <laughs> oh boy, I'd like that. That'd be fun. <laughs> but th- those two were just like Americans. That did it. Yeah, but you would, or but like it, it doesn't matter. The country rally, yeah. together. Rally. I mean, the Lincoln one, the country wasn't rallied together. They, they were divided because of the Civil War. That's why Lincoln got shot. So I don't think the Lincoln one, but maybe right. the Kennedy one would. All right, that's not, that's not a bad wrench in the system. Hey, when he brings up facts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, just let me go. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is something I was always wondering. Did the South, who had already lost the war, celebrate the assassination of Lincoln? I believe many did. Sure, yeah. Did? Yeah. yeah probably. Mm. I would have. They hated him. Right. Dana would have. I mean, <laughs> I don't want it out <laughs> here that I'm... Is this good or bad? Is this a good or bad? <laughs> I don't he want it out here, their president anymore. <laughs> I don't want it out here that I'm pro-slavery. <laughs> uh, no, not, no, 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 no one was, was thinking so that. Was their president. Just said it. You're not pro-slavery. You're anti-Lincoln. Asking and people can draw that. whatever conclusions. You in the middle of everyone celebrating and people being pissed that he got killed. You'd be like, oh, is it good? I was just wondering. Dana's in there. He's like, I appreciate the technique. He's like breaking down the film. Of John Wilkes Booth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, how could I be more like this? Oh, no, no. no. <laughs> the, if, I think, uh, if I think about aliens too much, I have a panic attack. Like, you get existential like, crisis. Like, what the fuck it, is yeah. going on? I know? used to have, like, literally, like, maybe 40 minutes a week with Terrence Ross, him explaining everything about aliens to me. <laughs> and, uh, what the fuck is your life, dude? It was just all voice notes of, and about aliens, and he taught me so much. <laughs> Fucking Terrence Ross, NBA player, explaining UFOs to you. He's really smart. <laughs> he's, he's insane. He's smart with it. Like uh, 10 minutes for a tip, too. <laughs> <laughs> UFOs uh, is going to move on. Uh, Tommy's was the loser with the Kennedy Lincoln assassination. She's the first one to bring it up. Um, now we have the number four seed. Uh, the meteor destroying the dinosaurs is what we're looking for here, uh, or just the dinosaurs' extinction in general, being able to witness that, versus the number 13 seed. And I'm just going to assume that all of you have seen this before. Uh, being in the same movie theater as the guy who got called out for eating beans. Oh, I've never I, seen that. I don't know if I've seen this. It's a, yeah, I know what you're talking. Dude, the classic viral tweet. Yeah, I think. I've never I think it's it. got to be that one. Let's see. I'm going to pull up the tweet just for the who hasn't seen this. Just I, I have not seen it. I haven't seen it. <laughs> I've seen it. I just assumed that everyone would have. Uh, so I'll just pass it around. But it is one of the. Is there a reason you can't read it out loud? Yeah, there's a big reason. <laughs> oh, I love. You know, read it out loud when it gets to you, <laughs> dude. <laughs> what a great! I've never seen someone's first reaction to this. Tweet. <laughs> is this like the most viral tweet ever? Or one something? Of, one of the it's certainly up there. Is it really? Give it. Give it pass it on down to the. I'd, like to, I'd like to read it. <laughs> I'd like to reread it also. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen it. Great tweet. 
And this is one where if you want to, if you're listening or watching <laughs> and you want to see the tweet. <laughs> it's also funny. It's coming from a cat. <laughs> yeah, just look up, look up Alaskan Carl tweet and oh, you'll find it immediately. <laughs> Alaskan Carl tweet? Yeah, yeah, just give it a Google. This call. is what Twitter was meant for. Yes, exactly. Yes. Let's reread it. For the days. We, uh, five or six years ago, my whole world was oriented towards trying to make a viral like tweet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I, I, used, that. I used to get mocked Ellie's for account. it, but I cared so much. And then they hired Ellie and she would just do it with like a, a the drop hat. of a hat. <laughs> and I hated her. <laughs> It would be like, like you ever wake up and want a quesadilla? Five million retweets. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. That's I want to see Clemmer's reaction. I don't even think he'll find it funny. Uh, look how I can't even find it at all. This is how Clemmer goes on his phone. <laughs> yeah, he does too. <laughs> for, like, finger tap. Right, pass it over. I don't think he can find it. <sighs> I can't find What's it. the other one? Uh, what that's going up against? Yeah, dinosaurs going extinct. Like f- watching the meteor blow up the dinosaurs. Oh. Well, more of a slower death really? than that, I guess, but. Care about them? Yeah. You're so- <laughs> no, I, I <laughs> he didn't cry. Yeah. Fucking get right? that. I almost believe, I believe that they like weren't even there. What? Yeah. The dinosaurs? I know they were the fossils and shit, but like I don't know. It's, it could be planted. Okay, so we're gonna start with you fights. Dinosaurs blowing up or Alaskan Carl in the movie theater getting mocked. Oh, I think eating beans. Now I'm realizing right now. I think a bit what plays a big part in my desires is shared experiences. And I don't think I, I like a great story too, but I think coming back and being like, "Dude, I saw the dinosaurs die. Like, what happened? Like, a rock hit the earth. It's crazy. <laughs> there's, there's not much there." Whereas I like the shared experience of laughing at this man eating be- baked beans and cars too. I think <laughs> like having just a big uproarious laugh can give you such a high that I I, I gotta take I gotta take the beans and cars too. Mm-hmm. Beans and cars too. Yeah, I mean, you're seeing dinosaurs and you're seeing a crazy explosion. Like, like two for one. Like, it's got to be the Big Bang. Like, that's incredible. It's not the Big Bang. It's not the Big Bang? Big Bang isn't real. It's the... Uh, it's Big Bang is how the universe started. <laughs> Fucking... Oh! Yeah. Well, I said Big Bang, but, but this, is, this is what I wanted. This is a different... No, this thing. is a totally different thing. Meteors, dinosaurs... The earth and- I kind of want to see the... I want to see both things, though. Well, this is one option, and it is the dinosaurs going extinct. I want to see that the as dinosaurs? well. I want to see both things, but yes. Are dinosaurs. Dinosaurs getting blown up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, we could have some more fun with this bean tweet, but <laughs> I do want to see the dinosaurs go extinct. I don't. <laughs> I don't even get how that worked. Like, like, was it immediate extinction? Like, the it's world slow. was on fire, or was it just like they, you know, they all came? I. It seems crazy. I'd. Got, I'd have to see that. I would just simply have to see. Is that? that let, let's say. So you're just watching the meteor, like Tommy just said. I think just the meteor, because the rest of it's just a slow death. I was going to say, it's a so long So how time. long after the meteor, it was it one meteor? It says it's like one big-ass meteor. How long and after then, the meteor hit did everything, did they all go? Depends where you were, I guess. Yeah. Like if you were on the continent where the meteor hit, you were fucked instantly, I guess. If, if yeah, if you were in Europe time. and hit America. Yeah. You had what, like a, a few days? I, well, a lot of it also, like all plant life it's died, so you could also like just starve to death. That was a lot of it. For yeah, that seems right. interesting. And also, why that. hasn't that happened again? Yeah, it's scary. It comes. They Man, say the it odds. comes close sometimes. Like meteors well, just can't miss us really and stuff. Down. There was one that passed between the Earth and the Moon a few weeks, like uh, a couple weeks ago, which is crazy it's that that so was not crazy. talked about more. I mean, they made him, you know, Armageddon. Yeah, and why you look don't up. Need impact or deep impact. Yep. Yeah. I don't need. This is why you don't need to know information. I don't like, I don't like feeling things in my head and being like, worried. I'll be worrying about this stuff when I, if you tell me. I think they would like. It would make sense to not tell us. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Like, why would you? Tell us. Yeah. Because maybe something goes wrong at the last second and it misses. And then everyone's, everyone's in a panic goes. looting and shit. Yeah. Right. I confess to things that did not <laughs> come up for another 40 years. <laughs> it does it does no good to tell us, right? I don't What's the positive of telling us? Scary. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, the Horrible. positive is, is we could all just go out and loot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think a lot about well, positive for us. I mean, for the government, looting. it would be really fun to loot just once. I'd like to loot. Hey, would you loot? I'd, I'd like, like to be the first one. No, I'd like to be in a sea of looters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd, I'd like go to, to Best loot. Buy. You want to fight go with to other dicks. people? Loot. I'd go to Best Buy. Oh man, that's that's really small minded thinking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think you have enough time to really enjoy. Like, You'd have to install your like a TV back. Yeah. You said he'd go to Dick's. I'm going to like Target. Dick's Sporting's good. Yeah, yeah, Ferrari dealership. Better. Yeah, that's a, a better basketball. answer. You could hit you know like drivers diamonds. down Fifth yeah, Avenue. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's so many cool things you could do with Dick's. 
like Best Buy. Yeah, I'm assuming by looting, I, I get to use this stuff TV. later. You know? Well, you can't. The world's ending. The meteor, it's going to hit you. Yeah, you don't I have much time. You can't install a sound bar. I need that Xbox. That's a new iPad. Mind. Uh, Francis, the Dino Extinct or the movie theater? Yeah, as, as trivial as I think the movie theater thing is, I mean, or whatever, it's it's funny. The big the the asteroid hitting the, I just think that's one of the most. I I, I can't even imagine what that looked like. I think I'd be very sad. You know, the lot of cool animals that I loved as a kid just dead. That'd be sad. I'd be bummed out. Honestly, but. in the moment, you'd probably pretty be excited. Oh, I guess you're a ghost. Yeah. Because in the moment, if you were a person, you'd be like, whoa. Yeah. You won. That worked. <laughs> yeah. Like, I was praying something would fall from the sky and kill all these things. That are hunting me. Pretty lucky. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you would die, though, too. You had nothing to eat or anything all, all of your life. Yeah. I mean, yeah. around you. Yeah. I guess you'd go. Suffer the same fate. Yeah, yeah, but in the, the moment. It's better than getting ripped apart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In the moment, that would be so cool, though. Yeah, it would be pretty awesome to see. I'm glad we've never had to deal with dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> that seems like oh. a hassle. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, a good thing we haven't. Dana, I'm uh, going. I'm going dinosaurs. It's going to be dinosaurs, but I have a question. Um, oh, oh boy! No, no, no. This isn't back. I love. I love the stoolies. I love the, they pay my paychecks. All that you know, it's fantastic. But you know, the worst thing they do is when they question a story and they say, "There's no way that happened." Okay. I'm about to do that. What if the bean tweet isn't real? Bean, you think the bean is a... What f- if? It's too specific. Cars 2? No, I think it's so... They come out real. the same time Cars came out. I feel like it's like it has to... That's such a random thing. Like beans isn't... Yeah. It's just... I don't think a human is capable of thinking so, thinking of something that funny. It's mm-hmm. fake. Yeah. Like it literally has to happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, dinosaurs. I thought I was going to go the other way well, with dinosaurs. dinosaurs. <laughs> I thought he was about to say he was going to question the, the I, I thought Big Bang. Sure. Or, but, dinosaurs fucking Big Bang. I know. See, yeah. Uh, no. Oh, they do freak well, me out, though. I mean, I, yeah. I'm going with the beans. A thousand percent. Who cares? The, watch Jurassic Park if you want to, like. You and me. Yeah, they die. Like, I, I, I basically go through my life thinking dinosaurs are never real. But now you would have proof that they are. I understand, but what does that do for me? I don't like uh, look at a giraffe if you want to look at any fucking. Dinosaur. Well, it's had like a twofold because you get to <laughs> see dinosaurs. Sense, dude. Look at a giraffe going look at dinosaurs. It's not a dinosaur. <laughs> it's not like the closest thing, though. Not like an alligator. Would be and they have closer. incredibly long necks. <laughs> it's <laughs> fucking insane. It really is, dude. But yeah, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> beans. Go with the beans. Uh, the beans are going to lose to the dinos. Uh, the movie theater one was mine. Giraffe. Yeah. I'm a giraffe? Yeah. I don't think. Oh, my. Oh. Whoa. Oh. God. Yeah. That's a... You know, I used to have a long neck until I got fat. Two one more time. that again because I couldn't see the other one. I couldn't see you. Ready? Move, the, move your mic out of the way so we could see it on the camera. All right. <laughs> oh, 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 dude. Dude. What? You can Stop. Stop. Ew. Trees. That's a fucking neck, dude. <laughs> Jesus. That's some Inspector Gadget shit right there. <laughs> All right, now we have the uh, eight versus the nine seed. The eight seed is the Titanic disaster. Being a ghost, getting to watch the Titanic Ooh, go down. That's really good. And that's going up <laughs> against the number nine seed, uh, D Day. A lot of people had D Day. Oh, no. D-Day on the list. So we're going to start with you, Marty. What would you rather see, D-Day or the Titanic going down? Well, I basically already experienced the Titanic, so I'm going to go D-Day. Why what? did you experience? The- did a uh, three-hour reenactment. Oh, forgot about that. I was a character, and, and we were not allowed to say our real names. You had to be the character that they gave you. And at the end, everyone besides my family started crying when they were all singing the songs and shit. It was the weirdest experience in Orlando, Florida in my life. Me, when? my dad, and mom, just fucking. How many people were on it? It was about forty people. What was your character? Why did you get my ex- my mom thought it was going to be like a play, but we were the play, and like <laughs> they were like yelling at me to be get more into character. It was fucking nuts, and no, people legit. Lando? What a wild place to have a Titanic reenactment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was crazy, and I don't want to ever do that again. And I don't. Sorry for the people that died, but my God, uh, I'm going with the D Day. I don't want. I, what are you guys nuts? There's so many more things I want to ex- experience in these big days. Do we? Do we? Do we know what D Day is? <laughs> he doesn't. It's just a genuine question. I'm not trying to meek fill you here. So I just I want to know. When the fucking war, you know. ended, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Wait, no, come on. We got more. We, we got it. When we want. 
No, no, that's, no, no that's, that's not what it is. Not what it is. Dana said that very confidently. <laughs> when the fucking war ended. Dude. Also, not not true. What is it, Dana? That's when they dropped the nukes. Oh, oh no! No! no. <laughs> that's my guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Two, man. Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> is that V-Day? Isn't there a V-Day? <laughs> yes, V-Day, there is. V-Day, V-Day is one of those when, days they drop nukes. What do oh. the V stand oh. for? Oh. They're also wrong. It's it's not. It's like on the hunt. But V-Day was when we won. Victory. Victory. Yeah. Victory. yeah you drop the nukes, we win. No. Yeah. <laughs> but it was, I think V-Day. V Day was winning the war. I watched Oppenheimer. E. That was V Day. Europe. Was Europe. E Day. E J Day. E J was Japan. Yeah. Uh, Rhode Island still the only state that celebrates it. Really? Really? Nice. Huh. At least it was when I was in high school. Oh, at V J Day. So you made fun of it? Ah, uh, V J Day. We 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 did, we celebrated V J Day. V J Singh Day. V J Singh. Oh, him the golfer. Yeah. Nice. Nice yeah, Dana. But neither of those things brilliant are. None of those things are D Day. those things are D Day. Good. D Day is bad day. Good little that, button you threw day. in there. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's fucking it's not. I mean, it, it <laughs> had to have happened. Oh, my always, I was D Day was always my report card came. But, oh, okay. Oh. That's always what I. Uh, you still haven't told me what. Do you guys see is. Saving Private Ryan? D Day is when Remember we. Remember the beginning of Saving Private Ryan? Scene. Where they're storming the well, beach? That's World War One, right? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my God. Jesus oh. Christ. <laughs> Storm the beaches of France. Yeah. yeah. Of Normandy. Uh, uh, yes. Oh. In, uh, the, yeah, how do you know Normandy? You know, don't know what fucking D Day is. Oh, they all, it all mixes together. Know. It's a lot of When we joined the war in, in Europe is yeah. D Day. That's when we invaded from England. Why are we celebrating going to war? I don't. We sorry, it's it not like a celebration day. It's more like a mark of a massive yeah. moment in history. Yeah, it, combined wars. It's fucking stupid. Hard to keep track of them all. The My Lai massacre in a days. Italy. So, uh, what, what's the last war we were in? Iraq, Afghanistan. Oh. Uh, it's World War Two. Yeah, the other ones were Techn- police actions. Technically, yeah, technically never oh. declared war. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm in Korea. Did you boys? read one <laughs> book? Where did that come from? <laughs> I was going to say, I felt comfortable with you in here because you like us stupid. <laughs> the only knowledge I have of, of wars is Call of Duty. Mm. And seeing Private Ryan, which you said you saw. Well, you seem to have limited knowledge there. but uh, Yeah. So what are you going to go with, D-Day or Titanic? Most you sorry, you said you want t- uh, D-Day? D-Day. D-Day? War doesn't do anything for my day-to-day life, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh, I choose to just... Let other people worry about it. Like Clement like cares about it a lot, so I let him have it. <laughs> water? He said he cares about water? War. war. Oh. <laughs> Dana? Um, Titanic. Yeah. I think I could I think I could survive. That would be I think that'd be fun to try. You think that shit wouldn't have gone down if you were on board? <laughs> no, it would have gone down. <laughs> I mean, Broke I think that it, iceberg would, with this bare fuck. Mark Wahlberg been the iceberg. Yeah. The <laughs> if it, if it, if it one's hanging on. It would have sank, but not because of the iceberg, just because of Dana's <laughs> weight. <laughs> on board. It just tipped over. There we go. We found a we found a pocket to get that in. All right. Uh, yeah, Titanic. I think. I mean, it obviously wouldn't be fun, but I, I think it's a. Uh, <laughs> that thing's really not working today. I would love to see the like reaction once everyone finds out shit's like popping off. I want to see what people are, how they're reacting. Yeah. Well, I can tell you, you would have been down in steerage with the pores, <laughs> and, and and you come back into that bunk room with water coming in on the floors, they're all blaming you on clogging the toilet again. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first assumption. <laughs> what? I didn't do it. <laughs> can you feel the ship shake? It's like the, the my heart will go on is the opposite of Dana. It's like... <laughs> As fucking uh, <laughs> cholesterol builds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I'm also picturing Dana climbing into one of the lifeboats <laughs> and all the rich women being like, no, whoa. no. Not him. Not him. Oh, he's like, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wobbling around. <laughs> Can't get his leg over the fucking side of it. <laughs> all the women's going like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Francis. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, uh, you know, I don't really. I uh, th- there's a part of me that thinks witnessing a, a, I don't know, like a battle for some reason is just tragic in mm-hmm. in, in a way that uh, I don't know, like it's just pure carnage and the lack of care for human life. I don't know. There's a part of me that doesn't. There's no, I don't know. War is much darker to me in a way than like a, a disaster in the ilk of the Titanic. 
which to me, there's so much like pageantry to and the costumes and the period element of it and like the class chaos and wealthy people getting into the lifeboats and I also think that the movie Titanic is like one of the best movies ever and, and has given me such a amazing visual uh, for that. And uh, I, w- I think watching the Titanic start to finish. So iceberg contact to, you know, the final people being fished frozen out, out of the water um, would be <laughs> in a way, I guess that goes against what I just said about human life. But <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, it's Titanic for me, for sure. Titanic, Tommy? Uh, I, I agree with Dana where, like, if it was, if I was guaranteed to be a part of it and survive, surviving the Titanic would be fun. Mm. Like, being on the Titanic and it sinks, it's like, that'd be kind of fun. But if I'm just a fly on the wall, I think Nor- uh, you got to go Normandy. I mean, that seeing that, the just the attacks from, from everywhere, like, again, I don't have, I don't have to do anything. The Titanic, I, totally I really just don't give. I've never given a fuck about the Titanic. I don't care that it sank. So I'm going to go. <laughs> <laughs> Clever. Do I want to watch like 18 to 20 year old men get their head blown off? Like young guys? Or do I want to watch a bunch of rich people drown? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I guess the rich people drowning both yeah, are really I sad. The debating what's less, you know, what's less tragic. That's what I'm doing. I don't want to watch either of these things. I would feel horrible watching. This is what I'm saying. Who's picking these things? These are like. I was on a lot of lists. Terribly tragic things. Um, I guess I'm going to choose Titanic because I think the alternative is just devastating. Right. Um, I agree with I don't care about the Titanic. I, I said this when we, people were comparing uh, Titan submarine to it. I was like, why do we care about Titanic? Like everything we know about the Titanic is not real. Like it's all it's the movie. Like like Leo Jack, put on a great p- right. Like I think it. that's why. I mean, obviously people cared about it before that. That's why they made the movie. But like everyone in our age demo, I feel like it's just like oh, like Jack and Rose and the the diamond. And yes. like, none of that's happened. If I that mean, movie never got made, people would never be talking about the title. I I tend to agree with that. Again, they must have been because there's a reason. Yeah, you people would talk. It wasn't like it is now. You're right. It, it when it movie came out, it definitely was a different level. Yeah, and it definitely has a romanticism you of like glamorized. Like now. when it when it. I mean, this is a genuine question, Clamor. I'm not just asking you. Yeah. Because, but like when it like before the movie, was it like? Oh, we're making this movie about a thing that like isn't that talked about in history. Where so it's like when the movie like when the movie's being made, it was a uh, bomb. Like people thought it was gonna be a bomb. It got horrible like buzz about it. And everyone's like, "This is the j- the biggest disaster in film history." Oh, really? Yeah, it got really bad, and then it came out, and everyone obviously then it was the number one movie of all time. I've never seen it. But um, yeah. When it, but Dude, yeah, it's an amazing, it's a really good movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, the second oh, half yes. is fantastic. The first half I think is lousy. The second half is awesome. Yeah. I think it's all pretty fucking good. It's, it's also Leo when he looked like a boy. <laughs> <laughs> For the like weird, yeah. his face changed so much going into The Departed. But prior to that, Swear. he had that like David Beckham cleanliness almost. Not quite as hot as he was in Growing Pains, but still pretty hot. Who'd <laughs> <laughs> Bauer stand? All right. Uh, um, basketball Diaries. <laughs> We're uh, three to two in favor of Titanic. Okay, I'm, I'm 100% going um, uh, D-Day. Uh, I uh, I share it seems, most people's opinion. I I don't really want to see either of these. Uh, but D Day, while there were undoubtedly a lot of scared young boys, there were definitely at least like a couple of dudes who were like, "Let's fucking go!" And that would get me jacked up. I'm like, "Hell yeah, boy!" Be on like be on like one of the boats with the boys. Be like, "Fucking go, dude!" That'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> so we're tied up. Reed, you get to break. I think one of these is extremely gruesome. No one's really sad. I'm gonna go with the sad option and pick uh, Titanic. Titanic. You just like getting hyped up with the boys, dude. That's <laughs> it. That's it. Everything you've said so what far. What I'm interested in is very Come on. Simple. like getting jacked up. I love camaraderie. <laughs> <laughs> so the loser is D-Day. Tommy's suggestion. Yeah, I don't know. It's two in a row. I mean, two these are like, yeah, we do this Those are your two suggestions. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I lost. The, I lost in the middle. Uh, it was you lost, then I lost, and then you oh, lost. So you don't mention when you lose. Yeah, I mean, I'm just kind of here to watch. <laughs> suggestions are terrible. Losing is good. It means your picks made the bracket. Clemmer's fuck probably is picking shit. <laughs> we'll get to Clemmer's picks. Uh, speaking of, <laughs> we have the Che in now to go up against our one seed. Our Che in, we'll go through them quick. Uh, seeing Michael Jackson's moonwalk for the first time, like when he first busted out the moonwalk. Fire. We were talking about that a little before. I blow my mind. Yeah. Oh my mind. People did freak out. Um the first person to jump in a pool 
Yeah, that's Marty. <laughs> what the fuck? It's got to be Marty. I get it. I get no, it. we can tell. No, it's Marty. I get it. Marty. I get it. <laughs> I know what you mean. Like, I mean that. Or I don't even know you could do that. <laughs> like, like, wow. Like a like a in my backyard. <laughs> Are you, well, I think like the first person to swim in that, general. Right. You know? uh, that's just like anyone could jump in. It, but people had like there's water in your backyard. But how were they? How were they getting into the pool? They were just walking in, and then someone finally said, "I'm not putting up with that." I'm saying, can you imagine the first time there's like, oh my god, I just got wet and felt great for no reason. I looked it back at my yeah. submissions, and all my yeah. submissions were positive moments. <laughs> you should never. <laughs> no, not pools, but like the first person to do something like yeah. that. So yeah. that's. But what's that's, the tangible difference here between the guy who like has jumped into a river? Or, or, a, or a pond or a in his backyard. It's all there. Like, that's man-made shit. I'm talking about, wow, this was just so accessible to me. And I can just... So is the pond in the that ocean and the river. No, it's sense. not successful to everybody. You lost us. Not if it's in your backyard. There's ponds in the backyard. A lot of people. Yeah, especially rich people. Yeah. I had a, I grew up in the pond. Well, what was, did my yeah, other one make it primordial on pond. Yes, yes. Did my yes. other one make it on there? Uh, I don't know. But don't say it though. Keep it all. Don't tip your picks. Uh, but after that, we have uh, the Hurricane O'Reilly's bathroom in 2012. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Uh, suggestion. I'll tell you what. You should all pick that one. <laughs> <laughs> the Mets win in 1969 World Series. I wonder who that was. Yeah, great Good question. Loser. <laughs> uh, Jeff Delo falling down the Apple Store stairs. <laughs> I would oh, love to. That's going to be tough to beat. Like that <laughs> he went flying down those stairs. Like you would not believe. Uh, Jason Derulo falling down the stairs. Oh. I would love to watch that. That was Salzari's picture. Uh, and then the first time that people had sex from Tommy. Yeah. I don't know. Figuring it out. Being like, oh, what do we do here? That sounds like the worst place to be. I don't know. I think it'd be interesting. I mean, I was there the first time people had sex. It was me. Yeah. Like, well, I, you, you know, peep and vagina. Like, I'm talking like they had no idea what to do. I think like, it's like, how did they put together? Food. Like, it's like, like an animal. Talking like animals, like an animal animals. And then we have been, animals were fucking, and then apes, you know, on and on. Pool is better. Uh, than let's that. just, you know, pretend. It's like an animal instinct, is it not? I don't know, but just knowing, like, oh, I'm going to put this in there and, be like, and then be like, oh my God, that feels amazing. I yeah. think it would be, uh, I, I I prefer to be there. I'd I'd rather not be a ghost on this one. I would rather see I'd the be, first. I mean, I'd be Jane Tip. I'd too. rather see the first person to realize a blowjob feels good. I think that would be more interesting to see. What about like, like the first person to come, you know, like. Well, that's what Tommy. Has. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see that though. Do you mean like the first person to come from sex? Any come like that. <laughs> You know, do we think it could be like a guy mowing his lawn? You know, the guy mowing. The first guy to come was mowing his lawn. (laughs) Dana did his. That's Uh, that's how I. Dana should have been a. Dana, these lawn mowers came as mowing your lawn. Told it on here. This is the best story. Dude, I've definitely told it on here. I've told it on every program. Yeah. I don't. I have told it on. I don't think I know. I don't know what it was. A famous mixtape. I thought you were fucking kidding. Oh, I was in like fifth grade or something, mowing the lawn, and then boop, just vibrations, got vibrations in the arms. I didn't know what it was. I went upstairs. I'm like, what is this shit? And then, uh, yeah, that's so that, like, you were coming parent? in the fifth grade. It might have been a little later, six, oh, six, sixth grade, junior year. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's probably too. Wouldn't late. you have loved to see that though? No, I wouldn't want to see that <laughs> even a little bit. <laughs> I actually would love to see that <laughs> little Dana mowing along. Oh, <laughs> how did that happen though? Like, was it like on your dick? It's balls? like all right. <laughs> Were you on a seated mower? Have you jer- not jerked off? Have you came from a uh, controller too before? No. Oh, oh, on, video guys. game? Uh, no, dude. Come on, guys. Go <laughs> like, like, from the haptic think, Oh, that response? feels kind of good. If you don't let it go onto your cup, it's like vibrate. <laughs> I don't How think on earth make do you me, have I sex think. if like equipment is making you? <laughs> <laughs> this was when I was a child. Of controller? Um, no, this was when you're a young horny kid, like you know, getting through your uh, puberty. Did you do all the weird shit with the controller? Yeah, I put it on my dick to get my dick long. Yeah, the cord. But that's what? <laughs> Wait, what? I get the I get the uh, logic behind it. You trying to stretch it? Stretch it? Yeah, yeah. like for good you're though. Trying like, to joke. <laughs> I, like, I was sat on. I sat like this. With a controller just on my dick for like hours, because I read that it would stretch it out for, for the rest of your life, and that I didn't does, read. That. Now you still have a micro. But yeah, you didn't like. <laughs> didn't take, huh? Got like e bombs world. Like, yeah. there's no way you read that anywhere. There's this spiral pattern around. <laughs> 
<laughs> Imagine walking in on your son doing that. Either or, Literally, either I'd leave them. him. I'd leave I was him. in college. This is literally. Oh, <laughs> oh <my God>. What? <laughs> you said you were a young boy. No, no, a young That's boy so when I came worse. on the on the lawnmower. Bro, you be in your college. college, college is just... You're in like 2013. You're jerking off with your controller. I wasn't jerking off. I was just was stretching. Extenders. You're doing the. Extenders. I had a friend group that would always like helicopter and shit. I'm like, I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> now he wanted a bigger dick so that he could just like brag about it. <laughs> helicopter. Just wanted boys. Helicopter. boys were helicopter and I couldn't boys. do it. I was frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> in the mirror by himself. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Oh. Jesus Christ. Uh, Christ. All right. So fights you pick first among the chain options. Uh, Michael Jackson's first moonwalk. I also included the Lizzo orgy because and, and in quotes, I know it smelled crazy in there. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, the first person to jump in a pool, the Hurricane Arise bathroom, the Mets World Series, Jeff falling down the Apple store stairs, uh, Jason Derulo falling down the stairs and the first time people had sex. Which one stands out to you? I got to go uh, again. I think we're going to have a pretty standard uh, reason for all mine, but I think the crowd lost its fucking mind for MJ. MJ? Yeah, I got to go with the moonwalk. I think that would be pretty wild to... Wait, do we know where he did it first? Like, ob- in public, out. obviously he practiced it first, but like, was it on stage? Dressed if I looked up, where's the where was the first moonwalk? Yeah, yeah. The moon. Oh. Yeah. Was it like an early like, MTV VMAs? I, wanna, uh, I remember people like freaking out. The Pasadena Civic Auditorium in 1983. Okay, I mean... Still, yeah, I'd yeah. be for, I'd be freaking out. That or the lean. The lean also was the, very cool. But the lean had like like that was like he wore special yeah, yeah. and like got like planted in right. Yeah, yeah. Like, more of an illusion. Yes. Uh, the moonwalk. He, the moonwalk still to this day. If I'm scrolling Instagram reels and shit like that, and there's always like someone will like, be doing like in public, I'll stop and watch that video every time. Times out of time. That's where I say. So to see it for the very first time, I gotta go with that. Did anyone else go through like a moonwalking phase? Tried. Oh, I tried. tried. Yeah. Moonwalk. Everyone in the '80s was doing it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's clever. Who can do it? I was gonna say no one in here can do it. That's uh, so, uh, Marty. I would have guessed you. The newer shoes. I don't. I never. I got discouraged. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I went to stomp the yard. Yeah, I forgot you were stomp the stomp yard. The yard classic. That's right. We yeah. both. We both. Um, crumped. Crumped. Yeah, I was a crumper as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's sixty nine Mets. I mean, think about it. They were a terrible franchise for seven <laughs> years, yeah. and then they right. go and they go from Max like, airs, man. Yeah. Let's go. It's a cool airs. moment. That's no, it's not. It I, is though. Like sports are. Am- it's great, but like hist of all things, come on. It would be fun to watch. I've been watching some kids get shot. Well, it's a fun experience. Right, you, 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 that was a bad way to reduce the D Day like, <laughs> uh, to that phrase. No, that's what people uh, people want to see. That they want to see people die in a drown to death. Yeah, but that's not the only two options. Aren't D Day and the sixty nine Mets? There Those are the ones you picked options. over the ones in the Cheyenne game. So you picked death over a nice baseball game. It's an incredible experience for New York. So you're going with the Mets sixty nine yes. World Series. <laughs> <laughs> I am. The fact that we don't talk. I know it comes up sometimes, but the fact that we don't talk every single day about Jeff Dilla falling down the Apple Store <laughs> stairs. The, I don't the, know if I Bruce. know this. He was Bruce. At, he was at the Apple Store. He fell down the stairs. You know the one. <laughs> a, you know it. You heard it. Yeah. There's that big ass Apple Store is in New York. The, it's Chen Chelsea. Grand Central. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was the Grand Central. I thought, oh, I thought it was the one by like um, FAO Schwartz used to be. It makes it way better. Yeah, it's but so it's just a, I thought it was a massive right. staircase with the world's smallest stairs, like a big spiral staircase. This, their stairs are like this thick, and he just slipped going down it. And just like did one of the like a hilarious cartoonish fall all the way down <laughs> and ended up with a giant bruise like this big on his ass cheek. Like, it's you incredible. There? No, I, oh. I'm just repeating it from his uh, description to us. Oh, I mean, that sounds hilarious. <laughs> so I'm going with that. So one for the Apple store, Francis. Um, What was the one you chose? Michael Jackson. I Because I, that means you're seeing him. In concert, I guess in his prime or just about his prime, and you know, that's that's it. That's as far as good as it gets. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, so yeah, I would go with Michael Jackson. Jackson, Dana, go Jeff D. Low. <laughs> uh, Met, the Mets one's fucking stupid. No, it's not. <laughs> it really is. Not. Why is it stupid? It literally, why is it stupid? Because they, I mean, they probably didn't even hit home runs back then. <laughs> probably. I don't know. I'm sorry to do it, but I really 
Jeff D. Lowe. Jeff D. Lowe. <laughs> Dude, I could see, you know the first thing he did was check his hair. Right at <laughs> him. <laughs> did, did, did everyone see me like this? Like, him being a slinky down the, down the stairs is one of the funniest mm-hmm. visuals you can think of. You know, no, and then he's like, doctor's like, send me a picture. And he just takes sense of this half of his face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <That's cheap>. yeah. <laughs> because Michael Jackson, yeah, I would love to see that. But, like, I also be like, I, I, it's so annoying, I can't do it. Also, there's footage of it. Yeah, like yes. there's no footage of Jeff Dilo. The feeling in the building, man, that place must have lost its mind. Are you talking about the Apple Store? store. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the workers there. <laughs> the place were losing their mind. They going back in footage, they probably have it archived. Definitely did. Right? Yeah, probably watch it every day. Jeff might have it. it. I would go get that security footage. Yeah, not even for the last. I'd just try to sue him, probably, because they are shitty stairs in these yeah. Apple stores. Uh, any, anyway, Jeff Dilo falling down the Apple Store stairs is going to win. And <laughs> and that's going to go up against our number one seed of this entire competition. So we're actually going to have to do a little bit of a vote that's going to fall down religious lines. So it's either God creating the universe or the Big Bang. And those two are submitted by two different people. So one of these people gets the one seed and the other person gets nothing. So fights. Do you want God creating the universe or the Big Bang? Which would be more cool to witness? God creating the universe. God creating the universe. Big Bang. Big Bang. I mean, one is fake and the other is God creating the universe. <laughs> God creating the universe. Well, I'll, I mean, this, we're not, I, I just, and I'm not even trolling here. I legitimately think it's more likely that God created the universe than the Big Bang Theory. I'm not even, like, the Big Bang Theory, you know how much had to go right? Like, a one little speck of dust appeared out of nowhere, appeared out of nowhere, and then exploded into everything that's literally ever happened. I legitimately think that is less likely than there just being so you think like, the alternative some is- kind of supreme being. I was like, yeah, I'll fucking make the world. That's. That's my side. My latter side. one's more likely. I genuinely think that. I'm not even trolling. I don't think that's so crazy. Yeah, I I think like the Big Bang Theory, like so many, it doesn't even make sense. Climber, can you just tell us like since you were there, which one was real? <laughs> <laughs> the idea that a mysterious being is just snapping it, it, his fingers but, but and me, then it's like just as far fetched as like a speck of dust appearing out of nowhere and then just exploding into everything else. I don't think it is as far fetched. <laughs> I'm with you, Kramer. <laughs> fucking crazy. Doing, right? is it Tommy, I've never heard theory? someone be this stupid. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, fine. We're two to two. I, I thought the Big Bang He's quiet like, on this one. It didn't happen. <laughs> oh, no, I'm waiting. We're, we're two I, to two. I cannot wait to see where it didn't happen in my book. Oh, I know Marty's in it. <laughs> no, do, do we? Yeah, I think Ain't so. It? He's got a necklace. This is one of the things that, like, if I think too much, I'm go- I right now. I'm like, I'm like, I, I'm freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck dude i mean you, you can't say either one of them neither one of them makes sense like how did god start who created who created god I don't, I don't know. exactly i mean but i'm saying they're the both dust? equally far-fetched the idea that we just like oh the big bang theory yeah that's obviously what happened it's, i thought there was new science you know, that is like eh, uh, my the theory isn't so accurate i think that uh it, that the as as time goes on, there there may be more clarity to to the scientific theory about how the universe began, and how you know time and space and all that. But no matter what that becomes, it's more correct than some guy with a white beard in the heavens. No, I'm with you. Have have I don't think that that happened. Architect. But I'm with Tommy in the sense that like. I, I think, I, and maybe I'm wrong, I do think that there was new science that's like, the Big Bang Theory isn't super accurate. Well, what's the more likely scenario, though? It, you're adding a caveat that isn't theory What was start. before like, the Big Bang yeah, yeah, Theory? Yeah, what happened? That's who, fuck who up. Put the Big Bang Theory in motion. That's freaky, man. This is like the It's a know. Sony episode. Yeah. yeah. Mac to make them yeah. all uh, out of atheism. Uh, I'll go for God. Go God. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see, Marty. Uh, you got? Did you get me? Yes. I'm going science. I, I, yeah, I had you down for science. I'm a thousand percent. I've always thought about this that like God nailed his name. Like, <laughs> imagine, imagine, God, imagine God was Ralph. Like, no one's respecting Ralph. God fucking nailed it. Why is what no one God named, named their son God? Some random God. person along the line was like, that's God. I'm no, a, I think he we was named just like God. he was exactly. like, God so Sham God. He didn't name himself God. I would but like, God made sure that somebody named him God. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, no, God that. is a great argument for was it normative 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 determinism? Where like you kind of become Don't what your name f- is. <laughs> I, I felt myself going like this. I'd be like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> that's that's a Marty Mush thing. Mm. Like if we're going with normative normative determinism. <laughs> 
Marty Mush. It's perfect. Bro, I just want to be next to God, give him advice how he created shit. I think it'd be fun. You want to give him like, advice? What a, yeah, like don't put that tree there. Let's like, say it'd be kind of funny to do that. Let's say you you get recreated or something. What would you want to be? Lemur. No, no, no. What? That's a dumb, dumb fucking answer. Well, what's, you answer? what's your pick? Ask me the answer. I don't, I don't have an answer. I want to be. I like lemurs. Oh, well, you said a lemur? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't even skip a beat. Oh, I know the answer. <laughs> These are things I think about, not the oh. whatever you just said. This leads us maybe to my favorite matchup in the history of the show, which is: <laughs> Would you rather witness God creating the universe or Jeff Delo falling down the stairs <laughs> at the Apple Store? <laughs> it's a hard question. It's tough. It's a hard oh, question. God. It's really tough, <laughs> Marty. I don't know. <laughs> Man, that's good. Because God could be a, probably a real dick about how he's doing it, so I just I, I think I'd rather laugh at Jeff. <laughs> Dana, I'm gonna go Jeff. <laughs> That's it. I'm gonna go Jeff. Francis, <sighs> I'll go with Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll go. With Jeff. <laughs> no sense stopping an avalanche, yeah, Jeff yeah, Dilo. Yeah. I'm going God. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> go God. Um. I'm going God strictly for the seventh day. I don't care about all of it. I love seeing someone take a good nap. When, I, when someone's napping hard, I'm like, that dude's got a nap going. On the day he rested. I've been so you love being amped up with the boys. Imagine like how amped God was after he <laughs> created the universe. Oh, yeah. I've been you fucking did that. it. Dude, no way. Monkeys? <laughs> fucking monkeys, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that right. would be pretty sick. Yeah, getting jacked up and then having a good nap. Yeah, come on, dude. That's a hell of a week. All right, before we get to the second, it really half. Was. it was. It was a big week. Before we get to the second half, let's hear from our second sponsor of the day, Groove Life. All right, let's talk about Groove Life. Look, everyone has crappy wallets one time or another. I had one that I hated forever. It stinks. They don't sleep. They just jut out in your pocket. Or if you're like Clemmer, I don't know how many of you've seen his wallet before, but they're just stuffed to the gills with garbage. This podcast. Sponsored by a thing that's going to help you with that. Groove Life. It's 2023. Why are you using the same old wallet from 2003? Now's the time to update your wallet game with Groove Life. The Groove Wallet is a sleek, low-profile wallet engineered for everyday use. One simple thumb motion perfectly fans out up to six cards for easy access for everything you need. We love Groove Life. I have the Groove Life wallet. I have a Groove Life belt. They have absolutely awesome products. Plus, they just launched a new attachment, the Groove Wallet com- uh, Groove Wallet Go. Sorry, A perfect low-profile companion for your Groove Wallet or iPhone 12, 13, or 14 that uses innovative micro-suction technology to give you the ability to add another three cards plus cash. This wallet is so slim that you can easily fit it in your front pocket. You'll barely even know it's there. And with Groove Life's 94 year no BS warranty, the Groove Wallet was the last wallet that you're ever going to need in your life. It's time to bring your wallet into the 21st century. Head to GrooveLife.com slash LCB for 20% off all Groove Life products. That's the best offer that you'll find, but you have to use my link, GrooveLife.com slash LCB for 20% off your order. One last time, that's GrooveLife.com slash LCB for 20% off your order. All right, thanks to Groove Life. Now we have the number six versus the 11. The six, we're also going to have to vote on, I think, because there's two separate um, uh, submissions, both about the same subject. So you can either be in the Obama situation room for the killing of uh, bin Laden, or you could be literally watching bin Laden get shot. Oh, it's got to be watching. Him get watching. Yeah. So I'm just putting it out there. Which watching. one? Okay, fights. Shot. The situation room. Or watching him well, this is shot in Pakistan for you, Obama's room. It's camaraderie. It's pious. That is boys. The boys <laughs> celebrated <laughs> so hard. Dude. Seal Team Six. There, <laughs> they were still on the clock. Yeah, they couldn't be so. Cel- they weren't <laughs> celebrating until they got back. Yeah, I was like, Obama's about to go to the inauguration. Not the inauguration. White House correspondence dinner. He's already dressed up. He's like, fucking boy, make it a double. Let's go. <laughs> I think that the Situation Room really popped off. I bet. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, the, yeah. The flight home, the the helicopter home. Yeah. Perhaps Rob O'Neill and the boys had a good a couple good cheers. But you're still there's the, that adrenaline high that I wouldn't get to partake in because I'm a ghost. Whereas I think I want, then I you're not against, participating in any. Yeah, yeah, I worked against room. myself on all of my yeah. things there. <laughs> um, but the uh, I I still I think the, I think the situation room popped off harder. I think maybe a couple days later, a couple hours later. The boys went nuts down in uh, Pakistan, but I think I think the situation well, room right away. In the situation room, you also get the combination of like both things because you're watching like helmet cam of them shooting Osama bin Laden. Yeah, true, true. true. While also getting the situation room, so yeah. you get both in a way. 
I think the situation room. I think Obama and Hillary might have kissed. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clever. I can see like Hillary or somebody else is kind of ruining the fun or like just like is it it's like saying the wrong thing at the wrong time. I, being there sounds um, like that sounds amazing and thrilling and uh, they said those guys. Uh, that must have been wild. It must have been a, that to me is that's an all timer. Imagine Hillary just like released her emails after. It's like <laughs> hey, here we go. Oh. There it is, baby. <laughs> Tommy. Yeah, it, I think it's being there is. Being there, the, the dre- I mean, yeah, the adrenaline. Watching him get shot up close, ah, that's, that's you feel like you're in the war. You'd feel like you did that it. That's a good patriotism literally, bump. Well, you all feel like you did it yourself. I agree with that pretty wholeheartedly. But I think the, the problem with this is that I have seen how they reacted after killing Bin Laden, and I'm using. If you're listening, I'm using air quotes because I just mean I've seen Zero Dark Thirty. And they had shots of the Situation Room in that movie too, and that's what I mean. That still, my imagination can still run wild with that. The it seems like again, I understand it's just a movie, but my in my head, it is. I picture it as a very methodical, clean kill, get out kind of deal. Didn't they like land a helicopter in his backyard? That's wild. They crashed a helicopter. Yes, they had to, they had to like, scuttle it. That's that whole thing is insane. Yeah, like being there for that. That's. Why? That, but that sounds anxiety inducing. Where the situation was just like, let's fucking do it. You know the result, right? What do you mean? Yeah, we if know. The go ghost. back knowing it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, if true, you know true. we're killing Bilal, and like, yeah, okay. A little I didn't, hiccup. A little I didn't hiccup think about the that. Crash. They also they it was a little little more uh, women killed than I'd like to witness in that one. Yeah, that part was new to, news to me. When I watched <laughs> the movie for the first time. <laughs> like, oh, they're just lighting everybody up. <laughs> 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 um, the. Uh, I think I'm gonna stick with situation room. Situation room, Francis. Um, yeah, the picture of Obama and Biden sitting forward on their chairs and being as grave as they are, and you know, and having no control over the situation, but knowing where they are in in history in that moment is, I mean, as gripping a photo as any I've ever seen in, in American history. Mm-hmm. Um. I would put uh, I would put situation room, um, because I also think that like it, you know you could follow SEAL Team Six on any. Obviously, Bin Laden is the creme de la creme raid, but like seeing them in action would be super sick. But um, watching the, the leaders of the Western world take that in in real time. Can't even imagine. Scintillating. Somebody rip ass in here. It smells fucking off. I did not. Anybody else smell that? I smell that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it fools me every time. <laughs> Definitely. The, um, Francis, do you think that there was, and I'm sure there wasn't, but may, like any gallows humor in the Situation Room? Like, I don't think so. I, I read it. I read Obama's uh, bi- autobiography, uh, the p- first part. He's it's like 700 pages. He's writing another <laughs> subpart too. But... Uh, the he describes it in depth and you know it was touch and go like they the the info was like good but it wasn't certain Mm -hmm. and i think you know they they it, it happened fast and they were hustled in there and they were told like are we giving the, the green light on this and they had to make decisions in real time there were a lot of like the who knows how this is gonna go we're putting the lives of a bunch of navy seals at risk and uh no i think it was very grave i think it would be hard to resist cracking a joke i think once they uh, get out and then they confirm it is bin laden then celebrations yeah fuck absolutely smells like Nuts. shit in here it I'm smells sorry. like fucking yeah, shit in now. here. It smells so gross. It doesn't smell over it doesn't here. Smell over here. I, smell smell it? I, I smell it. It's fucking awful. And I want to say it feels really good to have 100% certainty it was not me. Yeah, so it was <laughs> really bad. It's really bad. Not really. I'm I'm right at Dana. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there. Go. Do, a, do a test. I did not fart. I would tell the you boy. Shit, I actually don't smell room. it as much anymore now. No, I, I, I also don't really I smell it. nothing. At first, it smells so bad. I had a quick whiff, but I'm I'm clean again. It was one of the worst things I've ever <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting. Hey, I, I, again, I don't want to. I, I, I I'm not a fart in a a room that's you closed. Pooped. You pooped in this room. Poop in not room. on purpose. <laughs> you did. No one's questioning you your pants. Fought in a closed. Intent. Oh, that's you such a lie. Pooped. What do you not mean, dude? I, 
I, I'm saying, like, with this many dudes in one space? Come on. You shit your pants. Not on purpose. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't would 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 rip ass on purpose all right, right now. I, w- I don't do that. It doesn't have to be on purpose. You pooped. pooped. No one's questioning the intent. You pooped yeah, in the room. Trust, in the room. You never would do that. But if you would, if you would accidentally poop in this room, what's to say you wouldn't accidentally fart in this room? I would. I would know if I accidentally farted, and I would tell you guys. No, I would. You <laughs> fucking idiots! Yeah. Don't say you wouldn't do it. You did. I. <laughs> I love when you're here so much. <laughs> Dana, oh. situation room. I mean, you guys are being fucking dumb right now. It's Ob- <laughs> or, or what's his name? Osama getting fucking right. killed. Like, Being what are we doing? I want to see Osama Dude, get killed. You guys are talking about he, he would like to see fucking, what's his name? Uh, Abraham Lincoln get shot? How about fucking Osama getting shot? That's <laughs> like the coolest like, thing ever. <laughs> Osama? I, mean, yeah. <laughs> I love that visual of it. That, that's how it went down. Smoke. I that's wonder if he yelled like, ah. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Come on, guys. Ugh. What's Stop. like the most patriotic thing ever? Fuck that guy, right? So, like, <laughs> I like you guys. There's a question. Yeah, right. Fuck Osama. He was <laughs> bad, right? Nobody's was he bad. Pro Osama, <laughs> but that still doesn't answer the question, Dave. Yeah. I would rather see that. See what? Him get shot. Money. Shot in person. Not in the not room. in the room. In not in the in person. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Same. Was same. Ready? Yeah, I think that. the other option there was like not and that had nothing to do <laughs> yeah. with Osama bin Laden getting shot. <sighs> like him getting like tea bagged after would have been amazing. I don't think I'm not sure if it happened. I, I, I pictured like a that. thousand. You, see you are a counter tweet. Yeah. What, yeah. what did he say? What tweet? He's like Osama was tall as hell. He should have been playing hoop. <laughs> <laughs> he was. He was like like it's kind of crazy. He escaped us for ten years. Yeah, doesn't really make sense. I would like to hide one day, like see if people if. <laughs> Like you, you should do that at Barstool. Like, like a do big like hide a, and seek. Yeah, uh, that would be fun. That would be cool. Not a bad idea. We would never so find anybody. That'd be a lot of fun. Uh, being a uh, fugitive, that would be fun. Oh, like uh, cost- how would you like? There's not many places you could. I, I always think when I drive past like a like a uh, forest, I'm like, I'd be cool to just like hide out there. A guy I- hid from my dad when he was a police officer behind a refrigerator for eight hours. Holy shit! That's yeah, amazing. I remember you telling me that. It was in uh, yeah. KFC or something. No, that was the remember? Wendy's massacre. The Wendy's massacre. That one was crazy. <laughs> All right, so Obama getting, or sorry, Osama bin Laden getting. Was that even a matchup, or was that just picking? I was just, a, there's oh, a sub oh thing. Christ. Osama bin Laden getting killed versus Malice in the Palace. Marty. Eh. Osama. Yep. I don't, I don't care. Uh, Malice, I, I saw it. I don't, sports moments are like, so something happens the next night. Osama happens once. <laughs> Fair. And Hopefully. it literally happened in a sports Hopefully. moment. <laughs> Put that on well, a graphic card. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> right, that should be put on a quote card. Yeah. Uh, Dana, uh, I, I don't, I'm not so quick to just you know say no to Malice of the Palace. Like I think it'd be pretty sick to say I was there. But imagine being the guy that almost got punched by Jermaine O'Neal. That'd be like pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's Osama. Osama. Yeah, you know I had submitted uh, being in the Situation Room for Bin Laden. Um, I hadn't even considered following the <laughs> seals to actually kill him. Yeah. <laughs> and so during that whole thing, I was just selfishly rooting and trying for my own thing. But yeah, being on the raid would be <laughs> Same. way better. Like, I don't even like seals that much. No, uh, yeah, Bin Laden for sure. Bin Laden? Bin Laden. Bin Laden? Yeah, bin Laden, for the reasons Dana said. Bin Laden. Bin Laden's going to move on. Weird to say. <laughs> All right, Bin Laden getting shot. Yeah, <laughs> let's, let's finish the sentence. Uh, and they d- it, they said um, once he killed him, the someone to his left was like, "Do you know who you just killed?" Right. That's how they do it. Zero Dark Thirty. I think mm-hmm. that would happen, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Which would be crazy to see. Did you read Rob O'Neill's book? I did not. No, no me neither. I uh, do know he listened to the game Red Nation in the helicopter on the way there. That's a great song. Great mm-hmm. song, dude. Mm-hmm. I used to listen to that before basketball games. I used to, when I read that, Same I listened thing. to it in the gym Same. on repeat. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number three seed versus 14 seed. The three seed is the resurrection of Jesus Christ is on the list. That will be, if if it happened, it would be crazy to see. 
No doubt about it. And that's going up against Liz getting destroyed by a Cadillac Escalade <laughs> <laughs> on Ninth Avenue, <laughs> trying to cross the street. Oh, <laughs> oh no. So, oh. Well, it's the resurrection of Christ <laughs> or Liz getting <laughs> what a match of <laughs> in the air by that Cadillac. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Neither did she. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Um, man, 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 man. This is because uh, the camaraderie is on the Jesus side. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He fucking back. <laughs> yeah. Dude, the disciples, when well, I got Liddy, got fucking Liddy. Oh, that- not Judas. <laughs> this was none. He was bummed crazy. out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Um, I just fucking. After up. much deliberation. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch Liz. <laughs> See, I, every time I say it, it's so mean and so funny, but I, yeah, I don't know, man. Get that she gr- would fly that grill tattoo. <laughs> uh, clever. I mean, th- is there a chance we go back and like the resurrection didn't happen? Like, what if we go back and this, this actually was not a true story? Is that a risk? We're, we're already in the we're in the weeds accepting fucking God creating. Yeah. The so earth, in this like, case, like, it is that we're accepting true. the fact. It's a fact that yeah. Jesus did. Res- yeah. I, I also a fact that Liz got demolished by this car though. Right. Yeah, I, I gotta go. I gotta go with with Jesus here. I think seeing someone come back from the dead would be pretty wild. I gotta gotta go with that one. Got, that I think the the fear is underestimated. Yeah, because We're like like we know that it what turned out to be a good thing, air quotes again. But the in the moment, there's got to be a lot of like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh yeah, like, it, it might not have been as yeah. lit as we think. Can oh. can I? Those of you who are religiously inclined, did. Did when they rolled the rock away, was he in there and walked out and said, "Hey, everybody," or had he disappeared, which made them know he had risen? He was gone. He was gone. Yes. So what if someone just stole the body then? But he's, they can't. He came back. Yeah. 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 The, yeah. He didn't disappear forever. He yeah. came. He came back and he was like, "Hey, what's up?" Yeah. Right. Oh, he did. So come the resurrection back, of Jesus. He did come like, back. Yeah, I believe he came back to like a dinner or something like yeah. that. <laughs> came back for um, dinner. Yeah, I think came he came back like, for a little bit. I think he yeah. chilled for a little bit. Yeah. 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 And then went back. And then him. he like went up to God. Yeah, I don't know. Actually. I don't know how we I don't know how they exited. <laughs> like, I, I thought yeah, like an exit. Know. Yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, then we don't there. we gloss over that. I don't know we how we got back, back on for an on back we're having I kind of want to see all this stuff. When I see him come back for the dinner, what's the welcome when he comes back in? His buddies must have been like, holy shit. That sounds like a wild time. Gotta look this. Tommy. God. <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> what was that? This is so hard. I mean, Jesus coming back would be insane. <laughs> insane. But lit boing. <laughs> Hearing the the boing of Liz seeing her fly through the air. Just in case he's listening, I'll go, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them got nailed on a crosswalk, technically. Yeah. <laughs> you want to consider it that way. Francis it says, by the way, that Jesus did stay on earth after the resurrection for 40 days. 40 days. Uh, he uh, made an appearance to Mary and then appeared to his other followies, followers, followed by another appearance a week later or something he like that. He just got hitched. Um, yeah. So I don't know. You want to know a fun fact about Mary Magdalene? I learned this from chaps. Wasn't she a prostitute? No. Catholics are the only people who were taught that. Really? Chaps, like, uh, he taught me about her? About that she was a prostitute. Oh. Everyone else is, oh. Chaps, chaps was like, I was like, I was like, oh, you mean the hooker, Mary? And he's like, what are you talking about? Oh. And Christians, most Christians just learned she's just a woman who was just a friend of his. Mm. The Catholic Church trying to tear her down made her a prostitute. Oh. Wow. Uh, interesting. Right. Why? What's the Catholic Church have against Mary Magdalene? I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's She's Jesus like versus the Liz. The Bible, and she was a fucking <laughs> prostitute, yeah. by the way. Um, I think that the resurrection was the affirmation that he was the Son of God. Right? It was the final truth that that confirmed it. Mm-hmm. And I think that that is un- pretty unbeatable as a historical moment. It's a resurrection of Christ. Yeah. Dana? I'll go with JC. Um, <laughs> I have nothing but good things to say about Liz. <laughs> I want it on record. 
I feel like she can she could like beat the shit out of me, so I'm not gonna laugh at the car thing. <laughs> if you didn't do enough, I'm gonna laugh at the car thing. <laughs> the Millmore shorts of the car. <laughs> uh, uh you Marty. JC. Oh, and Liz. Go on, Liz. <laughs> uh, JC, you know, he was like the first like influencer you think about. It. Like he, everything was about JC. You know, God stayed behind the scenes. He's the real winner. <laughs> the big hair there, yeah. All right, so the resurrection is going to move on. Now we have the number seven seed. Um, oh, and the loser, I picked Liz getting hit by the car. Just to throw it out there. I'll take the, I'll take the hit on that. You love that. That is your favorite. <laughs> it's it's the imagery. That's your it being. Thing. I, I'll Hyper be honest. Cartoonish. I chose it thinking we were going to do a Jeff D. Lowe thing. Me I, too. I, I basically started a drive through thing where it was like, I'll pay for the guy behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <and drove off>. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, I think well, it was, I don't think. Free lunch. You can have the Jeff and the Liz thing alive in the bracket. That's yeah, true. Yeah, that's, that's fair. True. Uh, now we have the number seven seed uh, watching Hitler die <laughs> on the same Osama route. Versus the number ten seed Firefest, which actually was added before the news of Firefest two yeah. earlier today, which uh, had so, like ninety thousand views on the announcement. Yeah, which, not great. Yeah, uh, Marty, would you rather be again? You're, you're not affected by either of these things. You're fly on the wall, whatever. Oh man, that's tough because the Firefest thing seemed pretty crazy. But I, I guess I did. I'm going Hitler. Going Hitler. Yeah. <laughs> We'll see a little Hitler go down and be kind of funny. <laughs> he just killed him. So the H. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's, yeah. it's a lot of mystery. Like, I don't need, like, there's there's, not, there's no down, like down. heroic like Bin Laden. It's like him getting killed. Yeah. Oh, I actually, himself? I'm gonna. I'll just say my answer now because it seems like they. Well, I'll wait till it gets to me. <laughs> Thanks uh, for you don't know how the H. Man the went. I can't really have the conversation without sharing my opinion. So you shoot himself. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but there's like the mysterious bunker. sort of to like how where his body ended up, what the Russians did with it, shit like that. Some people yeah, believe yeah, yeah, he never yeah. actually killed himself. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it was all set on fire afterwards. Fuck him. Get him out of here. Fuck He's the down. H man. Uh, give me that. Hitler just Hitler's death. Um, Am I breathing heavy in the mic? A little bit. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, I got to tell you guys yeah, this the answer to that is always yeah. recently my boxers. Uh, I'm getting to the point with my stomach that like I have a permanent like. Indentation, the flip. fold. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. having the permy oh, fold. Dude, I got a permy oh, fold. A permanent dude. fold. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Dana, you always, I don't under, I don't you ever sit down and you hear it snap? Snap. <laughs> 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 the belly's oh, over the box. This one, not no, not these ones. No, but, but you do mm. have it. The Dana ones that I wear a lot. Dude, imagine this. I know that fucking game, man. It's it's like his waistband permanently like this now. Like something, yeah, dude. Dude, sometimes like sometimes I'll sit even possible? and it'll, I'll hear it, like <laughs> whack. Yeah, <laughs> like, I just you know, sit like this. Bands you had as a kid, like, snap bracelets. Yeah. Really? That's that how powerful the gut is. Thing. Yeah. So fat, that is so fat. That is fat. Were you upset with this? He gets it. Yeah, I get you. I get yeah, you. There's he... like three or four pairs that like are sit. I do the laundry and they're just stuck like that. I, did you feel bad about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm on Ozempic now, so it's all good. Oh, you nice. are? Yeah. Are you official? Nice. Yeah. I'm on a very low dose. Very. Low. I'm, t I'm testing it out. You're testing taking it away from everyone that's got the diabetes? Oh, get the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> what is that? What is I that, pay what is for that it just like everyone else. <laughs> what does Ozempic do? Does it give you like diarrhea? What does it do? Nobody actually You need knows. whatever the opposite is. Yeah, I'm not saying I don't. I'm asking know. what it does. They don't know. <laughs> they just know it works. <laughs> are you mad at me? Have you... Gained weight on it? <laughs> if you beat Ozempic, it'll I be I haven't so beat Ozempic. One of down, the best stories of all time. I'm like four pounds in three weeks. <laughs> that feels like not good for yeah, I know. That's I'm on a tiny I, I'm on a tiny dose. Oh up tiny that. dose. <laughs> I'll go up. <laughs> Francis. I can't remember. Francis. Okay. So I like watching uh douchebags suffer. Fire Festival is a great uh, just a parade of that. Um Someone's and watching like their killing himself as an example of that. Is, I know, but t I think you were making the same point I was going to make, which is it seems if 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 what we think happened is what happened, uh, and he just shot himself and in, in a bunker and that was it. I don't know. It seems kind of it's not it's not, not as uh, ripping as of a spectacle. Yeah. It's not as much of a spectacle as watching like whatever ten thousand douchebags fly in from New York and San Francisco with huge grins on their faces expect and watching them realize over 
you know, many hours, like, ooh, this isn't what we thought. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go Firefest. One for Firefest. Uh, I'm echoing the same reasons, Firefest. I feel like, yeah, Bin Laden, like, Bin Laden and Hitler, t- two of the worst dudes to ever do it. But, like, the difference is with Bin Laden, like, there is a heroic standpoint of, like, we raided his house and killed him, or it's a killer just, like, gave up and killed himself. Uh, Firefest, like, the, think about how popular the documentaries were. And that to me, like, imagine being there and witnessing it live. That's, uh, I'll go with that. Firefest, Emmer? Yeah, I mean, they were popular, you know, Hitler documentaries too, like, you know, about the end of the war and stuff. I mean, it's different. I, I, I mean, for me, I like the mysteries. Like, like the alien stuff is interesting because, like, oh, I can solve that mystery or I can solve, like, we don't really know what happened with Hitler. Like, his bunker burned down. It's a lot of, I, I would, getting answers seems like a really cool way to use this tool to be able to go back in time. So it's Hitler. So as a witness, as the fly on <laughs> that, the wall, you, you, you have you sort of right an omni- omniscient, like, perspective on it all. You get, you figure out everything that happened. Yeah, that's how I figured, at least in the, when you were originating this idea, that's how I imagined it. Well, if that's true, then I, I I would have submitted different things. I don't. I didn't really think. I love Francis happened. usually finds out how <laughs> bracket what we're doing like uh, halfway. Well, we ch- we his. change it well, as we go, we, which is we fine. That's also I, true. I, I think we always change how we we want the idea to be, which is fine. Also, somewhat like self interpretive too. Like this is how I interpret it. Yeah. What I would want to do if I had this power. We're three to two in favor of Hitler. Uh, that felt weird. Well, uh, right. <laughs> watching him die. Yeah, watching Hitler get. I I would have rather been a fly on the wall for the Operation Valkyrie mm, and yeah, the plotting cool. of that than the actual that's, death of Hitler. But that's yeah, a bunch of Nazi officers almost assassinated Hitler like halfway through the war. Tom Cruise movie about great. Yeah, great Tom Cruise movie. I could do a movie. Yeah. <laughs> I could do. I could do a movie. Fights. Um, I think I'm going to go Firefest, and it's more that I'm not choosing Hitler, because I think, I think no matter who you are, at least as long as you're fairly normal, watching someone in the moments before they decide I'm gonna kill myself, you kind of have to have like a bit of humanity. Like I imagine he's kind of breaking down and like just instinctually be like, "Oof, I feel kind of bad for this guy," and I'd prefer to not have. Yeah, that. That's fair. I'd want to. I'd want to keep Hitler. So you feel bad for Hitler. I think if I had to watch him make the final decision, like this is it. I imagine didn't make the, some tears. Tell him something. to fucking pull the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh yeah, Dana. <laughs> what are we talking about again? <laughs> All right, so we're I tied up. To encourage him to fucking kill himself. <laughs> Reed watching Hitler kill himself or Firefest. Uh, I'm gonna go Hitler. Bad guy. Hitler was a bad guy. Go, no Reed. doubt about it. Was, it. There you go. Take Reed. Uh, so Hitler's gonna go on last one. Uh, we have the moon landing, number two C, the moon landing being the, and again you're, uh, I guess a vacuum sealed fly or you, you're not gonna die being in space watching this happen. Uh, versus the number fifteen seed, Columbus realizing he was in the wrong place. Yeah. <laughs> Which yeah, that's fair. He was not in India. Uh, <laughs> fights, you were first. I'm going Columbus. I think it'd be funny as shit. <laughs> yeah, it would be. Uh, yeah, it should be funny. I wonder how long it actually took because I have no idea. I think the Bahamians being like, no, th- this is not India. And he's like, this is fucking India. I think that's, that's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds yeah, like me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is what I think it is. <laughs> this is, yeah, no. Like, I found, he's like, and then he's like, I found India. And they're like, no, you didn't. I think that's yeah. all funny stuff. <laughs> Let's do that. When I was alive before GPS, I used to see people like think they were in the wrong place all the time. Like, it's not that exciting. Uh, I get to be on the fucking moon? It's that. It's the moon. Always. Oh, wait. I actually didn't even hear the moon. That I reminds Columbus me. And I was you get like, to go to the moon? You get to be... Uh, ah, the moon's is. got the camaraderie, dude. Moon it is. Moon. Yeah, moon. Moon boys. <laughs> For the moon. <laughs> Nuts. I'm going Columbus. I think that would be so funny. Just like his insistence. Of like, no, I'm telling you, it's fucking India. Yeah. And like, just like, I can't believe we sailed to the fucking... Like, generally, that must have been such a, ma- a panic. That could have been some pretty good jacked up camaraderie there, too. Like, yeah. boys, we fucking did it. We're yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, the widespread panic. <laughs> no panic of like uh oh this, this is not fucking I don't think they realized it and during the trip did they were they, no, they, were yeah. they thought like, they yeah, were there so much when they got more funny yeah. that was when they got like, back imagine having the camaraderie and be like boys we no, they realized up. it when they were there it's not when they I got don't, back to I don't know we if called that's them true. Indians that's why yeah. we called them Indians before Native Americans forever whenever he found out that, that he was in the yes. wrong place I he might have never he might have died thinking it was India like I have no idea yeah I don't know on that yeah. I don't know. I don't know. The moon. I've seen the fucking footage. X. You're not like the one walking on the moon. You no. You get to be right there with him. 
It then be. you could say, all right, then I want to be in a fucking, I want to see a star twinkle. Like that's a, like you're just using. But this is a human. It has to be. It's a human historical fact. This is yeah, a human historical human fact. Human historical fact. Tommy, you're historical. okay with that being? As, you're, you're saying that's out of bounds, and yet we again, Jesus like resurrection, <laughs> God creating. <laughs> no, the earth. I'm saying Big though, Bang like theory you don't get that was to all. Walk the earth. You don't get to walk the moon if you're up there. Yeah, you kind of do. If Why not? What do you mean? Yeah, Why not? You're a ghost, but you're there. No, you're a fucking ghost. Like you know, I'm thinking more like you're, you know, you're just there watching it. You'd rather watch Columbus be told, oh, you yeah, took a left and you should have taken a right? All right. That's so Here's all the golden spices I got. Francis? Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, this is where I, I get confused <laughs> <laughs> when we do this. Because <laughs> this is my favorite part of every breath. <laughs> yeah, <they're laughs> just moving the goalposts <laughs> all over the Constantly. field. Like, I, I, I don't know Constantly. what's what. Um... <laughs> Because my thought would have been to witness the again, it's it's the the holding of the collective breath of the nation of the world, the the culmination of the space race. Who's going to be the first? Kennedy's challenge to the nation: Can we do this? And and you know, pr presumably you get some sped up snapshot of all of that of NASA scribbling away of the launch of Apollo eleven, and you know. All of that, and then and the school children at their desks, teachers wheeling in black and white televisions, radio announcers saying it. Maybe you get to see the actual kids of the of of Buzz Aldrin and 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 those people and Neil Armstrong and 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 just feel that tension and the sigh of relief, and then witness them land safely and be collected and come back in and the triumph of it all. I mean, it, it, it's it's perhaps America's greatest moment I, I one of them I, I, certainly mm -hmm. um from a patriotic standpoint I, I think it's hard to beat so uh it's that for me and that's the way i picture this question for us yeah the Francis, moon. It. i'm 100 percent a moon boy moon boy marty and, uh, sorry not to skip you there but marty you're just oh no chance it takes without traffic two and a half hours to get to the moon if you put a road up to it <laughs> it's a it's that's what fact. it's the moon's way closer than you think if we put a road to the moon with no traffic it's two and a half hours so i don't know that a real thing no no no, no, no not at all that's <laughs> true yes it is just saying no, it's crazy not. Shit. we've done the research i don't have what? the science we, to we've done the not. research i mean no, i know like no, look it up dude it's um the miles yeah, the moon. it's not that you go bad. whatever miles an hour boom oh, we've trillion done trillion miles an hour you're talking about what in research in have you done in a car look this up like how long would it take 238,000 miles away so how how many miles an hour are we going, Marty? In your in your plan here, your road plan. Get further. Two hundred thirty-eight thousand. <laughs> so we'd have to drive so maybe four hours. <laughs> Still, <that. laughs> going, going here to like Southampton. Yeah, it's take. Okay, yeah, let's say you drive to the moon in an average. If you're driving a constant speed of sixty miles an hour, it would take one hundred and sixty-six days to drive to the moon. Uh, six yeah, and a half hours. Non-stop driving. You said it was two and a half hour. hours. What did we look up. You remember that day? It takes two. It must have been like that, in, in a fucking rocket. It took a rocket one ship. Yeah. Yeah. In a rocket What I would ship. give for the amount of confidence you said that was. <laughs> Like, it I still doesn't take two and a half hours. I, I feel ashamed that's not for the first, thinking, but he said it with such confidence. Marty, couldn't that's help not the first that. time I've said I've sold that to a lot of How people. How long does oh, it take to drive to, to Philadelphia? There's something or there. Washington, D.C. I'll come back with I looked at it. There's up. something there. No, yeah. It still doesn't like, it wouldn't Marty, make sense with rockets. Like, look how far away the moon is when you look in the sky. I can see it, dude. You think that's two and a half hours away? See it. It's, it's not like, like your observable horizon. It's oh, in the I sky. can't see. Straight I can't see up. Boston. It's a forty-minute flight. What does it matter? <laughs> yeah, that makes nothing to you saying. Hold on. A I second. do agree the moon isn't as far as we think it is. But is yeah. are you saying that if you? No, have, I don't agree because he thinks it's two and a half hours away. Yeah, today's a rocket. Than that. It might have been oh, full, straight, Clemma. Three days. Three days. <laughs> three, it takes three days. It takes three days to get to the moon with a rocket. That's not. Yeah, because they're going, they're they're going, going out of way. Significantly. Right. They're not going straight to it. With my road, it's going straight to it. I think they're they stopping on the scenic fly. route. Go straight to it. Yeah. You, have you, to, you have to go beat it off with the rotation of the. That's, that's a lead. Could. That's a, you guys. Uh, he's well, the driving thing is saying, the driving thing is saying as the crow flies or whatever, where like it would be a straight shot. 
But like the rocket needs to like you need to lead the rocket basically to meet the moon. I get it. Oh, you're, you're so wrong. I get it. I, I swear to God, like I know I looked this up. I think it might be to outer space is two and a half hours. Or maybe a space station. It might be to the to drive. I think, I think that's... No, it's not a space station. You cannot yeah. drive to a space station in two and a half hours. He's wrong. It's a yeah, stupid, it's stupid space. thing. I don't know why I'm trying to make this work for him. <laughs> Neither do I, Francis. That is space. It. You're it right. right. I think I remember you saying that. Yeah, this. you were there too. Okay. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. get out of the atmosphere. Yeah, to get out of the world. I haven't looked up. I haven't looked up. Zone. If you hop in a car and you could travel straight up, it would take you about one hour, 15 minutes to reach space driving at, at 80 kilometers per hour. 50 miles, 50 go, miles an hour. There you go, boys. <laughs> he was right. At the moon, it was a space. So, yeah, exactly. It's not like, okay. You were I'll close. try the fucking Long Island instead. <laughs> I'm going to go with uh, the other one. Uh, <laughs> you're going with Columbus. Uh, Columbus that's sorry, Dan, did we skip to you? Uh, despite Francis's passionate words, fuck the moon landing, dude. <laughs> it's who cares? Why do you care about Columbus? <laughs> Yeah, speaking funny. of that, uh, someone said GPS. I want to do a video where we have to use a map uh, going to California. I've done it. I'm not funny. California. But we used to have to use a map. We had an atlas. That's what you. No, I understand. But, but they didn't have very funny. Just get on the highway. He's saying Dana doing it. Me. Oh. Yeah, well, it would get pretty boring after like an hour. I think we'd have but. fun. You having to try to like find out where you are if you like took a turn to go to a hotel or something. You can't use Absolutely. GPS. You should, not, you should only be able to use signs on the road. Like not yes, even, no, the map too. No map. Uh. But yeah, the Columbus thing, the way fights put it, uh, that made me laugh. That sounds right entertaining. For the, moon. the moon man. Yeah. The moon boy. He said the India thing, and that's, that made me laugh. So <laughs> it's funny. It's, it's like it's just thinking you're somewhere and you're I'm not. sorry. Oh. With the, all due respect, it just doesn't move the needle. But it's also just, I mean, you, it's wrong. Like, uh, well, I know I'm an idiot here, but, no, but, like, but you wouldn't be able jokes. to communicate. The, beh the Bahamians didn't speak what did, what, Columbus's what did, language. Alien. What did us land on the moon do for us? It was just like a monumental achievement for mankind. Nothing. It was just no, like, oh, look, like, we actually, did something you see cool. The list of things that, yeah, a lot of a lot of great technologies come from really no space. Wow. Yeah, it's actually cool. real. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 from the moon or from building a space? The moon, like what we learned building. The, 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 yeah. Now you could say we spent a lot of money, and that in theory could have gone those inventions. Spaceship, but then have to go to the moon. Yeah, in theory I, though, we like got it was the done for that reason. They jumped around and planted a flag. Then what? You go home? Come on. Anyway, inventions that came from the Columbus. moon landing, the dust buster. Is there a moon oh, day? Vacuum sealed it's Columbus food, day. Uh, cameras, thermal blankets, you don't like shock Columbus. absorb, shock absorbing yeah. sneaker soles. Yeah. They're We're trying to cancel. I want to say aluminum foil, maybe, Italian. or aluminum things. Yeah, and Sopranos. Artificial I limbs. The Columbus insulin pump. Fine. You're going to need that. I want... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I want it on record that Marty just asked if Columbus was a bad guy. When I asked if Abraham Lincoln was, uh, hey, he was. That Marty's a, more right. Yeah, yeah that's how much was a bad guy. I said, Columbus is Abraham was Lincoln a, a good guy? Lincoln is a hundred percent like the best guy. But you not knowing that Columbus was a bad guy is kind well, of you could, uh, There's arguments there. There's people like there's still a day. It's named complicated. Day. The the. The, the, it's not it's so much. It's, it's more like no, no, but it was. Do we celebrate the fact that he discovered America when the credit should be given? People yeah. were already here. That's. Mm -hmm. It's not like well, people and maybe he did too. bad. Sh did he go out and kill a bunch of people? I think he was, yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. Wasn't, wasn't he, he like wasn't genocidal? The dude, <laughs> like the, the Vikings discovered America. Did he like start genocides and shit? I don't. Yeah, know. I, I think, I think some accidentally. Was, some yeah, yeah. Was not great. Cat scans invented from the thing. From the uh, right. LASIK. The answer is Columbus. Races. Columbus. Oh, a lot of shit on here. It's crazy. Uh, okay, so we're tied up. Read. Uh, is it you want to be on the moon? You like, get to be on, on the moon. moon. Okay, I'm going to go with the moon. Oh, thank moon you. boy. Thank God. <laughs> I want to change my answer after if, moon If boy. fucking... Oh, you don't. You guys are nuts. <laughs> so, moon landing moving on. Now let's run through our playoffs. Uh, but first, let's hear from our next sponsor and last sponsor of the day, Omaha Steaks. All right, let's talk about Omaha Steaks. Labor Day is right around the corner, and the experts at Omaha Steaks are inviting you to celebrate summer's last hurrah with 50% off site-wide during their Labor Day sale. Go to omahasteaks.com and enter lights in the search bar to shop all the exclusive Labor Day packages like the Griller's Labor Day Feast. This package is the perfect sampling of everything that makes Omaha Steaks unforgettable. Plus, when you type in lights to your search bar, you'll get, an, you'll get eight free mouth-watering burgers and eight free 
Gourmet Jumbo Franks with that order. You're going to want to hurry because this exclusive offer is only li- only available for a limited time. Celebrate summer's last hurrah with 50% off site-wide during the Omaha Steaks Labor Day sale. Remember, the only way to get this is to go over to omahasteaks.com and enter lights in the search bar to shop the Labor Day sale and get eight Omaha Steaks burgers and eight Gourmet Jumbo Franks for free with select packages, including the special Grillers Labor Day Feast. Omaha Steaks isn't just steak. It's the best steak of your life, guaranteed. That's omahasteaks.com, keyword lights in the search bar. You get to Omaha Steaks. All right, let's run through this. Uh, Jeff Lo falling down the <laughs> Apple Store stairs versus the Titanic disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Marty. Dude, it's Jeff. It's <laughs> close. Like, Titanic, again, I have the picture in my head. I don't know. I need every detail of the people. There's in the no store. movie about Jeff Lo falling down. Yeah. No, and there should be. I could make a full movie about that. Mm-hmm. Dana? I'm pretty torn, boys. Um, I'll go with low. <laughs> I'll go with low. Titanic. Disheveled low is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's way fun. If we're talking about, oh, I don't want to see that. Like, we know Jeff's fine. Yeah. yeah. That's the people die. I agree with you. Yeah. So it would be so oh, funny. What sound he made. Like his he- his legs above his head going down yeah. is, is funny. Uh, like this, I'm not joking. I would much rather see Jeff Dego fall down the stairs than, than the t- t- Titanic because that would be so sad seeing people die. It would really fuck me up. So Jeff Dego all day. Right? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I I know we sometimes go bit here. Um, I no no bit would rather see Jeff Dego fall down the stairs than the Titanic. People drown. Uh, the dinosaurs going extinct, the extinction event versus the UFO sighting. I think UFO sighting. Um, I voted for neither of these originally, so it's a tough one. Um, I think the UFO sighting with the goalposts having been moved to where they were, where I get to kind of know everything, right? Like I get Mm. to, uh, be able to go and tell people exactly what it was. It, I honestly I won't believe you. If I if I fucking saw UFOs for sure, like it would probably wouldn't be the first story I told. Mm-hmm. I don't. Like, I actually like, don't think it would be like, oh, here comes John. He's got this UFO story. People would think you're a crackpot. Think you're nuts. It would, it would be crazy. one of those things that like someone would say something. Like, oh, that reminds me. If I, I saw yeah. a UFO one time, it wouldn't. It wouldn't be like my thing. I wouldn't make it. I think people would think you're crazy, and just like just me knowing that I have that knowledge, like means more. Mm-hmm. I think, like I know something. We get frustrated. <laughs> we get frustrated with no one believing. Yeah, climber. Uh, yeah, dinosaurs. I mean, I get to see dinosaurs and see this crazy meteor hit there. That sounds wild. That's a crazy day. Tommy, I'm going the UFOs. It just, uh, yeah, I don't know. You've seen so many documentaries. You see all these videos on Twitter, and it's like, oh, this happens. Like, I just want to know what they saw. I just want to see with my own eyes. Are they crazy? Is it this could real? Be, I, I actually, I watched Fracture last night. Great movie. movie. Gosling, Anthony Hopkins. Anthony Hopkins is a very smart man, and his wife, at least, is supposed to be less intelligent. And she has a line where she's like, I bet it makes you feel so powerful being so much smarter than me. And he's like, it's actually quite dreadful. And I almost feel like that could happen with the UFO. We're like, yeah. it sucks knowing this is true, and you guys just can't get it. Like, mm-hmm. It could be quite burdensome. By the way, that, that's how I feel every day I come to work. <laughs> <laughs> is that the movie where it's like the legal movie yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. that's a good movie it's a very good movie really yeah. good movie yeah. yeah francis um this is a good one this is a good matchup I, I would have potentially put these two in the finals um but i'm gonna go ufo i think that as a ghost maybe you can follow the ufo maybe you can go inside of it Ooh. uh you know you you first got, probe yeah you can just really figure it out and have an answer so that's it for me. UFO. Dana? Yeah, assuming I'm safe from everything, it's got to be dinosaurs. I would love to see dinosaurs in action, and, and uh, I would love to see a meteorite in action. So, yeah. I don't think we've agreed on a single thing. <laughs> <laughs> Marty? UFO. I don't... Jurassic Park. And like, are people still like looking for bones and shit? <laughs> yes. Yes. You're... Uh, all Why? the time. Why? An actual job, paleontologist. So get a bone, and okay, <laughs> boys, here's a bone. Have you ever done the fucking uh, the yeah, they brush them off? Oh, I love those. I I was I went Remember to those? Italy. Yeah. And I was at the Vatican. I was getting a tour, and I just kind of like asked the guy. I was like, "What gets you into this line of work?" And he looked at me like I was in. He's like, "I'm an archaeologist." 
And I was like, well, we're not digging up fucking bones right now, so why would I have expected that that you're an archaeologist? You give tours at the Vatican. That's a different thing. <laughs> I didn't true. say any of that, but that's what yeah, I thought yeah. in my head. I'd like, to be a, I'd like to be a guy that digs up bones. Yes. Why? I like to dig. Digging You'd is be fun. a great manual laborer yeah, back I, in the day. I was on today. real at landscaping. Yeah. <laughs> I was good landscaping myself. Oh, so I good. Was too. <laughs> Wait, aren't you like you're Egyptian too, aren't you? Yes. I mean, building the pyramids. Yeah, I was doing that shit like crazy. I, I love to landscape. I like. Landscape. I used to. I used to offer to landscape Marty's front yard when I lived there. He never let me. I had better lines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, fights. Jeff Low falling down the stairs at the UFO sighting. Just to get to the finals. Is to get into the finals. I got. I got to go. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go UFO. UFO. Yeah. So it's UFO versus Jeff Dior. Yeah. UFO. UFO. Yeah. Three. For I'll, I'll end it here. We'll go. We'll <laughs> yeah, go with the UFO. It's UFO here. UFO. Yeah. All right. So UFO into the finals. Uh, on the other side, uh, the resurrection of Christ or the Bin Laden. Uh, bin, seeing Bin Laden get capped. Uh, Marty. Bin Laden smoked. Bin Laden smoked. <sighs> Man. I feel like I'd be boys with JC. That's the only thing. No way. Yes, I would. Dude. JC he likes to get fucked up. Jesus no Christ, chance, do you think he likes to get fucked up? Just because he made why you, wine? Or why do you say that? He drinks wine. Yeah, Dan is like, he had the highest fucking blood alcohol. <laughs> <in that age." laughs> he would have been a great guest on Wine Walk. Yeah, he would have been. <laughs> I got the number one. Uh, <laughs> what's the other one? It's the resurrection of Christ versus Bin Laden getting capped. Yeah, Bin Laden. Another I would person. love to witness that. I really would. Give me Bin Laden. Bin Laden. Dana fucking hates bin more than anyone. <laughs> like we, more than like Lincoln. Bin Laden, but like Dana. I mean, really it's Bin Laden hates. Lincoln for him. Yeah, <laughs> ever, seriously. <laughs> Francis, I'll go with Christ. Resurrection. Yeah, I mean, I think if if we're going with like you're finding out stuff, so then. If he, if it's all you know a sham, like if if all right, if we're doing the the Jesus one, can I see him get fucking? Can I see the Last Supper? Can I see him get cru- You know, on the crucifix. I think it's like, resurrection yeah. post, like everything. I think after. you could see some of that. Yeah, I'd like to see how that all went down, and then you know, if if it, if he doesn't come back, it's like, well, then you know, shit's all a lie. No, but this is this is my presupposition that it's real isn't, exactly yeah if we have this as an option here oh, well, is, then, it yeah, means, it's gotta be that it'd be fucking insane <laughs> <laughs> right this uh, is the supposition yeah, that, that it is, it is yeah. a real thing clever yeah i'm robert stack out here i'm solving mysteries jesus christ jesus christ three to two oh, see some shit it's bin laden or jesus someone JC. understood that reference Marty. Oh, someone see jc all right the resurrection what the fuck is robert stack what was what was that the host of Unsolved you know? Mysteries. <laughs> no one knows, dude. Uh, know. Someone listening does. It's for them. It's not for you. It's for me and them. Yeah, no one. Yes, they are. They do. Real, real relatable, dude. Less than five <laughs> it's people. Not for, it's not for you. <laughs> the comments. Think Abraham Lincoln's a fucking war criminal. Shut the oh. fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see in the comments like less than five. There's going to be I don't one care. guy. It's going to be me like, and that guy then. Robert we had a little giggle together. Robert Stack, I fucking love that guy. Yeah, Marty clown emoji, clown emoji, clown emoji. Yeah, yeah. Marty Stack. sucks, but he was pretty good on this one too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on the other side, the moon landing uh, versus Hitler getting whacked. Uh, or whacking himself. I uh, moon landing. Moon landing. Yeah, I love solved mysteries, but that moon landing, that sounds pretty cool. I, I, I get to go on the moon. Hmm. I'm a moon boy. You're all, yeah, you are self-proclaimed, Tommy. I was not a moon boy last, but for this matchup, I'm a moon boy. Three for the moon? Moon landing. Moon landing's going to win, but Dana? Yeah, it still doesn't really move the needle for me, but I, I would like to be on the moon, I guess. I'm going with hit bags. It's not even close. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not close, man. Hit bags, huh? <laughs> moon, like... It would Whoa. take you like 10 minutes to high five someone because of fucking gravity. Like, it's just. It's just <laughs> only two and a half hours to get there, though. Yeah. yeah. Space is true. Well, five minutes to high five. Thank God we got to that. I wasn't just making shit up. Hit bags. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, the moon landing or the resurrection of Jesus Christ. This is the final? Two things. No, this is going to go into the final. Two things that arguably <laughs> might not be real. Yeah. <laughs> Start with you, uh, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even it's it's Hitler and who? Hitler versus the moon landing. Hitler. Hitler oh, it's not Hitler. It's oh, uh, sorry, sorry. It's um uh, the moon landing versus the resurrection of Jesus. My bad. Ugh. 
<laughs> so how did we get to this? <laughs> so many other things. One that I should have gotten was the first guy to experience air conditioning. Should have. <laughs> you didn't have that. That on one there. didn't get in, and that one like your like your pool. Imagine, oh, oh amazing. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll go. What are they? Resurrection. <laughs> versus the, <laughs> resurrection versus the moon landing. Uh, resurrection. One for JC. Yeah, JC for sure. Two for JC. Fuck the moon, boys. Francis. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to go moon landing here. One for moon landing. Or one for JC on the board. <laughs> Three to one in favor of the resurrection. Moon boy for life. Moon boy for life. Ah, man. This is tough. Moon boy's got the camaraderie. JC has the... It's the knowledge. It's the same same thing you run into. You run into with the aliens. Where you're like, "Hey, I know for sure." By the way, he stayed dead. He didn't get up. And everyone's gonna just be like, "I don't care." It's real. Yeah. Um. But I would like that sense of superiority over religious people. I was like, "No, you." Like, I already think you're fucking idiots. If I know for sure, so I'm you're like, going with the resurrection. Go with resurrection. So resurrection's gonna move on. It's gonna be resurrection. By the way, fights, you voted against your own. You had the moon landing in this case. Is that yeah. where Hezzy came from? What? Sure. Like a hesi- like a Hezzy comes from hesitation. Yeah. Rezzy. Got it. Nah. Hey, where did you think it came from? Just, I was thinking. No, 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 no. No, no, reverse, no, no it's okay. Maybe it makes sense. What do you think of Storm? We believe in you. Seriously, it's so bad. It's, <laughs> no, like, no. I, um, you thought it was from the resurrection of God? Like Rezzy. Like, he resurrect. Like, it's, cause everyone's That's a resurrection. That's everyone, for reserving does seats. Does it rhyme? You thought there was a website called Resi and it's about the no, resurrection? Don't go. Uh, relax over this, Skeletor. <laughs> I don't know. Just keep going. <laughs> the, the UFO, uh, the UFO thing versus the resurrection of Christ, Marty. UFO. UFO, no doubt. This is the finals. Remember, we might have talked about this. Is do you see aliens? You just see a UFO. Bro, how are we still talking about that? <laughs> I, said, I, said you can, I said you can get into the spaceship. Yeah. If you're a ghost. And in that case, you UFO. Know? You have to assume it's some um, totally omniscient. Are you guys kind of sick of alien talk? Very much. Where yeah. it's like, I, I think it used to be funny, but I feel like now I'm just like, it's, okay, just mm. let well, it I'm at a point day. of like, show up already. Like, yeah, like, like it's like, I, like, we know there's UFOs. Like I don't want to poke the fucking bear. No, I'll poke them. I'd fucking they, I, it'd scoop me up in a listening. second. But like them. it's like they. <laughs> Imagine they all just turned around. They're like, "Whoa, hang on!" They knocked on wood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Tommy, he's good. <laughs> <laughs> Two for UFO, Francis. The resurrection. I'll go with. Uh, this is tricky, but I'll go resurrection. Three to two, or two to one in favor of the UFO. Oh, this is really fucking hard. I mean, Tommy, you got a, a Jesus thing touching your belly button right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but right. like, it's like, I know that that happened. <laughs> I, don't <even> know that. <laughs> I don't know about the aliens. <sighs> but I mean, the, the shock and all when Jesus comes back would have been fucking insane. What if maybe you didn't, maybe like if someone didn't. Well, like that, and that, but yeah, but then again, then if it's not real, I come back and I'm like, what's the point of anything? So I'll go with the... <laughs> <laughs> That's how agnostics and atheists feel every day. I'll go with the aliens. Three to one in favor of the aliens. It's hard though. I don't I don't know if I even believe either of these things. Like, I feel oh like this God. sucks. Like a historical thing, and neither of these things they're are both really real right now. Just yeah, they both are real. I know I'm just saying it's frustrating that we well, I mean well, I mean, there's undeniably been UFO sightings, and Jesus was a real person, whether he was a miracle son of God. Like so like you kind of get the answer to, to either of them. I guess I believe more in UFOs than Jesus. So no, just being like a resurrect, you know, like a yeah. How how firm is that evidence that he was a real person? I've just heard that. I think people say it's, it's 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 yeah. He was a real person. Like Saint Peter, was divinity a real person. is the question. He's he was just a fisherman named Simon. But we technically have um, no idea if he was a real person. So far, he was a real person. They follow that. They always say is like a real thing. It's like he was some Middle Eastern guy. Yeah, he was just whether or not he had any special abilities. Divinity. Is humongously up yeah. for yeah. So I'm gonna go aliens. Um, the aliens fights. But, uh, I'm gonna go. I guess I I I I, I, I the so much alien talk has me so sick of it that I don't even want to know. Or also so just like all right, I know. Shut the fuck up. Um, I but I'm going. I'm going. JC. 
Going JC. Well, the winner is going to be the UFO. Ah, losing squad. The winner of this episode of the bracket is Tommy Smokes. Almost voted against himself right there. You I should. also had Jesus single person. Uh, you I didn't get assigned per- Jesus. Oh, so really? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were so anti oh, Jesus. You lost like six <laughs> times. Oh, um, goodness. no. I mean, I don't. I, I don't know that one. It's another one of, of finding the answers that yeah. I think is is a really interesting one. So the winner of bracket number ninety. Uh, things we'd want to witness is a legit UFO center. I'm kind of surprised this one. I say so. Me too. I really love doing this show. <laughs> it's so fucking it's a fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Especially with, squad. I love, Francis, I love our brains together. Like, <laughs> it's like it's seeing me opposite. and Dana look at each other when you talk, and it's like, what the fuck's he talking about? <laughs> and then you look at us, it's the best thing in the world. I, it's, it's funny. I talk to try to sway your feeble minds. <laughs> and yet it almost acts like uh, in the opposite way. Like, I really thought that yeah, my... Weird simple guys rousing speech about the moon landing would get you and you both were like fuck that the whole, t- the whole time Hitler you were talking i couldn't wait to say the opposite wait yeah. to say how fast it took it to get a made no traffic realize that the, the, the fog of stupidity around you is impenetrable all the research that me and dana did <laughs> yeah francis was giving like an american patriot speech and martin was like just wait till i let him know it takes two hours to get <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I could think about. I was waiting for you to be God, done. He's got <laughs> something here. They, they brought me more into their zone of moronic <laughs> thinking. By the way, we should have put uh, January 6th down for this. Oh, no, I mean, Already saw it for hanging out with the boys. Uh, <laughs> yeah. May 6th had some camaraderie. Yeah, yeah, was there. That would have been a fun one <laughs> yeah. to, to witness. That would have been great yeah, until it yeah. wasn't. Yeah. That's fucking awesome yeah. for the full time. Uh, But yeah, that's the winner. Uh, Thank you guys for joining, and we will be back next week.